Hello, everybody. It would help. It would help if I actually changed my screen. Uh, welcome, welcome. Give me one second. Ta -da! Welcome to today's stream. Um, we've got a lot that we're going to do. I am. Oh shit! I forgot my water. I'm gonna have to go get it at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm busy eating breakfast at the moment. So today's stream is going to be uh, quite busy, but I'm going to try and keep everything on time. Um, so I'm going to set a timer now just to make sure that we stay on time. Uh, firstly, I have to do some emote work, which hopefully I can finish. Like it took me a very long time to do yesterday um, and I'm not like even near finished. So I'm starting to notice how, uh, how I like my process. Izzy, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Um, my process for making emotes and stuff has changed quite a lot and it's obviously taking a bit more time. So um, we're going to do a little bit of that today. And then later on, we're going to be doing um, sub and membership draws. So the way that that's going to work is anybody who becomes a member on coffee, I would like preferably use coffee because I get 100% of the proceedings. Um, <clears throat> and if you do do subs, then use a prime sub because I will get 50% of that. Otherwise, I get like 50 cents on uh, most of my subs. So let's try and avoid that. But anybody who uh, subs or becomes a member in the stream um, and then obviously previously for the last month, uh, we have six subs so far. I am going to be doing a draw of that person, but I'm going to be doing it in the style of Eddie Munson from um, Stranger Things because... <laughs> I really like I, I will find it for you uh all right new I'm doing I'm doing better I'm doing better how are you how's studying going uh let me just find it so <clears throat> Eddie Munson not the actor couldn't be bothered this one <laughs> I'm gonna copy paste this give me this so I kind of wanna I want to do an emote in the style. Like that, because I think it's super cute. Um, and I'm going to be doing profile pics for that. So anybody who subscribes is going to have a like cute chibi profile pic in this style or like in this position, I guess. Um, but of themselves. So for those of you who I like, if you don't have an icon or I don't know what you look like, you're going to have to send me a picture of yourselves. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be the sub drawers. We'll see how long that lasts. I'm probably only, I'm going to cap it at like two hours. Um, and then after that, we are going to have an hour's worth of nap time party because I promised you guys that we were going to do nap time party. I have an SCP that I want to, that I'm going to read for. Um, but I think I might also host a poll throughout the day just to see like whether you guys want SCPs or D&D uh, &D related stuff because I realized I can also read from the D&D &D, um, manual. <coughs> so we can we can do like research into, uh, I don't know, some, some beast or something like that. Um, I think that SCP is probably better because SCPs are like, they tend to be quite long. Whereas uh, the D&D... &D, manual stuff is usually shorter so i'd have to read like multiple entries which is fine i don't mind okay i'll read the whole book why not <laughs> so yeah how is everybody's how is everybody's uh friday going so far what are y'all up to mm. okay let's get started as you can see, there are a few that I haven't completed. Um. It is very bright in my office right now. Because the sun has decided to sit on the back of my PC. Which is not great. <laughs> <coughs> oh, thanks. I mean, it was working already, but whatever. Okay, so I imagine um, my my PC might get a little slow because it might overheat a little bit. I don't know.
This avian creature. Okay. That's not what I was looking for. I um uh, I'm actually gonna change this to like synthwave. Hey we go, that should be okay. I don't know, every time I see like royalty free, no copyright background music, I Twitch always gets me. They always um stop the sound. Uh they like remove the sound from my VODs and I'm just like, why? Why would you do this to me? Stop it. So, um, I am going to just go in here real quick because I've got a couple of, um, like, saved. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, that's a bit dark. Uh, yeah, I like that. Hopefully it doesn't dull the color um, of the emotes. I want, I think I actually want this because this has a bit more red in it, which shows up better on emotes. Why did I do this? What the actual fuck? What is on here? Oh my God. <laughs> That is the worst. This is what happens when I have multiple layers and I use them incorrectly. At least they're not connected to anything. Like, they're not sitting next to a color. Oh, wait, I take that back. There we go. Okay, that, that works for me. That works for me. All right, so back to what we were doing. Um, so I'm gonna give like I'm I'm gonna have like quite a big shadow because I know here there isn't really like the shadow isn't very prevalent. Um, but she should technically be in like a fair amount of shadow here. Sorry if you guys can hear in the background, but uh, they decided to do roadworks in my neighborhood today for some kind of awful reason. It's Friday, why you would. But hopefully they'll be done then it'll be soon. <coughs> I think they should be. Should be quiet for tomorrow's stream, so we'll see. Hmm. I don't know how much I like that.
So AZ, what's news? You doing anything interesting this weekend? Um, just the same old with you. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna be playing some D and D tomorrow. We played a, a session zero last week, and um, I've been given permission to stream it now. So, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be playing D and D tomorrow. <coughs> but otherwise, not uh, not a whole bunch of new stuff, to be honest. How's your setting going? Anything new happening there? <gasps> Sorry, I'm in hyper concentration mode at the moment. Oh my god, there's my cat. Wednesday, once in. Mr. Bat, welcome to the stream. gonna finish it sooner and start working already <laughs> yeah fair enough I think uh, soon soon you'll see I wouldn't stress too much about it um yeah so Wednesday is Wednesday has decided that she's not very happy about this noise the noise is irritating her and so she has to run around the house and she has to harass everybody telling them that it's not cool that there's noise outside and we're kind of like, we know, because we live here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, relax. So, Mr. Vibes, how is your, how's your Friday going? Also, somebody please let me know whether the audio is too loud. I tested it earlier, but I can never really tell because like different songs have different frequencies I guess and then sometimes it's overpowering sometimes it's not I'm gonna say for the sake of my own sanity I'm gonna turn it down ever so slightly oh Wednesday come on no come no just go to sleep You can't have everything. Yes, yeah, so she has been so demanding this morning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, so I want to add... Okay, good. You can't hear anything. Kalash, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? How is your Friday going? Um, so I want to add like a whole bunch of blush because that's not going to work. <laughs> Wednesday. Hey. 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 No, come sit. <clears throat> yeah? Okay, sleep then. Okay, and yours? Ah? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We are just chilling today, basically. Uh, I'm going to be doing sub, uh, sub drawers later. So I think I need... I'm going to need a photo from you. I think I have one somewhere, but I can't really remember <laughs> like where I put it. So... Yeah, so I'm gonna be drawing. I, I'm gonna be drawing subs later for about two hours, and then we're going to be doing a uh, nap time party, which I'm excited about. So I'm gonna be reading an SCP for everybody today. Yay! How's your Friday going? Oh, okay, I'll let you out. Just relax. Wednesday. <coughs> hey, stop. Stop. Wednesday. Hey, you can't sit there. That is so rude. <laughs> Just playing Temtem? Oh yeah, the, the Pokemon style game. Stop it. Wow. Look at this cat. I don't know if you guys... Yeah, you can see her in the corner. She's literally just decided that it's okay to just nap on my... On my... Um, on my desk. Which is actually not allowed to do. Go to sleep, you little useless beauty. Yes. She's got such a soft belly. <laughs> Having some issues with the network? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> she hates me though. No. No, you can't. What a naughty brat. Relax. No. Wednesday. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna put a little teacup on her head. <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit weird. Like the weather's been very strange. Well, I say that, but I don't know. I guess it is normal for this time of year. Like. We went straight from the hottest day of the year to like the coldest summer day. It went from 30, I think it was like 37 or something ridiculous to 21 all of a sudden. So she gets really uptight when stuff like that happens, like when there's no consistency. I'm just like, yo, this is where you were born. I don't understand. Yeah, Georgia's weather has like zero consistency. We have a very rainy day today. Ah. But I mean, in the UK, like, 
rains all the time, doesn't it? Especially when you're by the sea. Uh, you got a delivery? Sweet. See you soon. gonna yeah I'm gonna leave that to be undecided because I know the hair is going to be um, quite dark in the background yes Wednesday yes she's so lazy Okay, we've got about, um, I've allotted about half an hour extra to this. Um, so at, I think, one. No, actually, uh, at two, we're going to start. <coughs> we're going to start um, the sub doors. I ha have changed about 200 lines of code. I hope that's all of it for now. Why? What did you do? That's a lot of code. Also, is it something that you have to do manually or? <coughs> <coughs> Oh, I see. Okay, so it's probably going to be something that you have to do manually. It's not just like, oh yeah, replace this line with that line kind of thing. Because then I'd say you could get like a script that, that will do that kind of thing. Update to OBS uh, 28. I, a lot of people have been saying like the new OBS update is so scuffed. Um, I use like very bare bones OBS. So I haven't really had any problems up until this point. I know when I the first update because they had an update and then they had a patch the next day um the first update was a bit wonky like i tried to add a source and it wouldn't let me do it it just said like the source didn't exist 
which was weird. And then um, after that update, things were a lot better. Or after the patch, things were a lot better. Um, but yeah, a lot of people have complained. They're saying like, go back to a stable version because this version's not that great. <laughs> okay, I want this just a slightly darker. Yes. That's understandable since they use WebSocket 5 now and the format changed. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's all the little things I wrote to control OBS remotely. Oh, okay. I mean, doesn't... I always thought that OBS had like a... Uh, what do you call it? Um, like a mobile version, doesn't it? Easy fix, just time consuming, yeah. That's a, the problem with coding. <laughs> like sometimes you do have something that's an easy fix. It's just really time consuming.
Right, like you can't really see, I mean, I know it looks like there's a lot of detail and stuff at the moment. But when you zoom out, a lot of that detail disappears. But I'm really glad because the highlights are actually showing up, so that's perfect. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I just realized she has gloves. <laughs> Each time I do it better, so it's faster next time. It's never ending journey. That's true. That's true. It makes you a better developer at the end of the day. So. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I don't like that one so much. Let's try darken. I don't know about this, but we'll see. Yeah, there you go. That makes way more sense. <clears throat> also that's kind of cool because it gives it that like separation Yeah, there'd be no point for that. Okay. I'm just gonna do that because I don't want I don't want too much detail. So yeah, Kalash, welcome back. What did you get delivered? I uh, need to go look for some references still. Sweet. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do this in purple. Let's try. I don't like that. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yes, I do be liking it. Okay, so I'm not gonna make that. I'm not gonna make that um, darker because we pushed into the light. So if anything, maybe yeah, maybe I'll kind of add this to give it a bit of dimension. But beyond that, I'm not going to add more detail to it because it's just gonna be redundant. Like there's no point in doing it. So yeah. Topsoil, nice. So you gardening? Uh, 
Ah, uh, no way, my mother is. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I don't know, gardening's fun. It's very relaxing. 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> God, I get so much spam from TikTok and I like never use it. Thanks Twitch, thanks for letting me know that I can manage my channel directly from my phone. I already knew that, but yeah. No thanks? <laughs> Why not? supposed to be like really really healthy for you <laughs> okay so that's that um and then i know this here I don't like gardening, just not a fan. Fair enough. I don't mind everybody is. Uh, don't mind being in a garden. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> being in a garden is nice. I love the garden. going on yeah since when Okay, so I think we're mostly done. Um, what else did I want from this? Okay, I want to finish the rose and then I think that's it. Possibly? Yeah, I'm not gonna add more detail than that because it's not gonna show up. So there's like literally no point. Um, Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to change the outline of a lot of stuff as well. Just because it's something I don't do very often. And I feel like it'll make the piece pop. So just these inner lines, essentially. Um, let me see. I want. <clears throat> I 
want it to be a bit more red. Like so. Uh, did I watch the Wednesday trailer? I did actually see the Wednesday trailer. I watched it yesterday because I was very curious about it. Um, and I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not going to lie. I was really super excited. Um, <clears throat> I didn't realize that it was like a Tim Burton. So I'm very interested in that because I think he could do something amazing with the... Uh, with the adam's family but i'm also kind of like looking at the trailer and seeing the people who are cast i don't know if they're if they're crazy enough or not crazy enough i don't know how to explain it like i just get the feeling that the main character is going to spend a lot of time and i might be wrong i would be happy to be wrong um but i feel like she's gonna spend a lot of time being emotionless but Wednesday Adams is not emotionless. Like she's psychotic. Well, not I don't know. Psychotic's maybe a bit um, extreme for what she is. She's she's crazy for sure. But she's not emotionless. Like she gets an immense amount of joy <laughs> from harassing people. You know what I mean? And like she does. She's not this. <clears throat> she's not the typical like crazy psycho person that you see in films nowadays where like they're just super emotionless and there's like nothing inside of them except for that one moment when they're like torturing somebody or killing somebody right she ha like she has emotions she feels things you know she she is like highly highly intelligent and very contemplative and like you can see that from the Wednesday Adams movies, or not the Wednesday, uh, the, the Adams Family movies that uh, that I grew up with, at least with uh, what's her name, Nicole Richie. I think it's Nicole Richie. Um, her portrayal of Wednesday Adams was like this young girl who is like continuously thinking about shit, right? Like she she just when she's not trying to like cut dolls heads off and stuff like that she's thinking about how to make a guillotine in order to cut dolls heads off you know what i mean so yeah i'm not really getting that from the trailer but then again trailers are just trailers so i don't know we will have to see how it pans out um yeah i think it'll be cool i think it'll be cool i'm excited to see it i'm glad that they are doing a bit of like halloween related stuff but again like i say i could be wrong because it is tim burton and tim burton can be a little bit weird um which is exactly what the adams family kind of needs i'm hoping that they have the same i i really i like Catherine zeta jones but i don't know whether she is going to be a good morticia because she is just like very light and bubbly at least from what i saw in the trailer um and i have this suspicion that it's going to be i don't know like she's gonna be this very uh just weird mom but morticia has a very specific kind of brand she's very calm she's very collective she's seductive she is like She's just like everything that that kind of woman it needs to be, but it's not not in the same way that Catherine Zeta Jones is those things. Because Catherine Zeta Jones is also like seductive, but uh, what's the word? Elegant, right? Like Morticia is the ultimate elegance, whereas Catherine Zeta Jones is more sensual, as opposed to yeah as opposed to just being like elegant i don't know i don't know if they fit well together but we shall see we shall see you never know i might be i might come back and be like oh my god that was amazing <laughs> what did you guys think of the trailer
Okay, I think the last thing I need to do is just the hair. Pugs, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Um, we're talking about the Wednesday Adams um, series that's coming out on Netflix. Have you seen the trailer yet? I think we all uh, have. What? I think we all have all we need. Uh, it's just to let me know if there's anything I'm missing. Or in the uh, okay, I will have I'll have a look at it uh, just now. The stuff you sent on Discord, yeah. Would be interesting to see how they portray the characters. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Thought it looked fun, but very different to the movie and the shows that was on KTV or was it Cartoon Network? I think it was on KTV. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know that I actually even saw the series. I just remember watching the, the movies. Morning, morning. Never heard of it? Never heard of the Adams Family? Oh my god. We're gonna have to educate you. Um, yeah, it does look very different. Like, I don't know. It's strange to me because it's supposed to be... In <laughs> good old days, yeah. Um, it's supposed to be like a Tim Burton. And you would think that like Tim Burton and the adams family that's like the perfect mesh right that is just the ultimate but i'm getting very weird hollywood vibes from it and i don't know that i like that <clears throat> and it's very strange because i'm usually not the person to to be like oh this isn't the thing i like and then be weird about it you know what i mean like i'm not eh, i don't know maybe i am <laughs> who the fuck knows yeah most of the time people will do stuff and they'll like rewrite a story or whatever and it'll just be like oh okay well you know that kind of fits that sort of works i don't mind i'm not gonna go on social media and like bitch about it but this one to me i'm just like i don't know it's giving me weird vibes <clears throat> Damn you, Nightbot. I thought I spaced things well enough that you wouldn't spam everybody. Damn it. We are getting there. I am almost done with this one. There was like literally no reason to do to do that, but I did it anyway. <laughs> Again, not really helping the details. I did it like that. No, I mean, it's not showing up, so it's fine. Like, the, the gloves can just be gloves on their own. doesn't matter. Um, that's chill, that's chill. I think everything's in order. So I'm going to save that out. 
<clears throat> no, cancel that. Um, I'm gonna save that as a PNG. You like this? I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Just beat up my boss. Okay, so that's that one. Um, I'm gonna we're gonna do this one next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you, Jay? How is your day going? Okay, that can uh, no, I don't need to save that. That's fine. Uh, this one can just chill there. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna take this one. That face is just adorable and so happy. Yay! I'm glad. I'm glad you like them. Uh, very good. Had an amazing stream last night. Oh, congratulations! What were you streaming? Saved it, but I want to save out a, um, a video file, <coughs> which you guys won't see. <laughs> <coughs> uh, but then the internet died. I was so pissed. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What's up with the internet lately? It's just really shit. Also died midstream. Ah, think load shedding is causing issues again. Yeah, for sure. Especially with the internet, like, it, that's the, the shitty thing about it, is like, you have load shedding and then you've got no power, and then it's like, oh, okay, well, that's fine, at least when the internet comes back on, or at least when the power comes back on, I'll have internet, and then it's like, oh, no, wait, the exchange is down, because there's no power there, so now you have no internet. <clears throat> uh, you played Genshin in Tower of Fantasy? How is Tower of Fantasy? so much noise out there. And now we wait for it to save. <laughs> Super chill, uh, so I like it. No stress or try hard necessary. Fair enough. There's a lot of free gotcha. Okay, it's almost saved. It's almost saved. Sweet. Oh, there's all this stuff I'm I've been thinking about doing uh, lately. Like I wanna, I want to end up having um, like clips and stuff. I'm gonna start taking the clips. Not taking them down, but downloading them and stuff like that, and then uploading them to uh, like YouTube Shorts and TikTok. So we'll see about that. I just haven't had time this week. But yeah, we will see. We will see. Next week, I'll probably start doing that kind of thing. Wait, <coughs> once it just went off. Excuse you. Okay, bye. Speaking of later. Jay, how's your, how's your work day going? How is your last day of work for the week? Oh, no, wait, you work on Saturdays too, don't you? I have the same thing, have a million ideas to improve the YouTube and Twitch, but never enough time, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I'm one to talk, guys. 
I probably do have enough time, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> but this week's been rough, because this week I've been sick, so... I will forgive myself. I don't like this. Yeah, wow, I was hella confused by that. Yeah, so it's really interesting. If you look at the color on this one, it looks like it's a lot more red because it's sitting in like this black, not black, but purple background, essentially. Um, whereas this one has a lot of red in it. So I would have to push the red more in order to get a decent like that. And even then, it still looks, I don't know, muddy? Yeah, I don't know so much that I like it. I'm going to try and push it that direction. Okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> uh, I work tomorrow, yes, but today is chill so far. Most of my clients only work half days on Fridays. That's true. So you can work a half day too. You also give me uber squishy vibes. <laughs> like soft and comfortable. Not sure how to describe it. Yeah, for sure. I like that. I like that. Um, that's kind of the vibe that I'm going for, to be honest. I'm working on having that be more, um, more the vibe when I do animation as well. So I'm trying to get like my animated stuff to a level where it looks super squishy and comfortable. <clears throat> did I, I, I did. I did. Did you guys hear? We were literally having this conversation. I think it was it was in the D our D and D session last week, wasn't it? We were literally having this conversation about like oh the queen and how the how Canada like sees the queen as their queen, and I was like oh I'm so shocked. I wonder when she's gonna die. <laughs> Do you remember that? I'm pretty sure it was in our D and D session. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, bad timing. <clears throat> so I imagine, because you're in the UK at the moment, I imagine like everybody's just kind of come to like this weird standstill or something. Jay, thank you so much for that. Mr. Vab, you are now a subscriber, which means that um, like Harlash and Jay, you guys will be, I'm going to be drawing you later. So yeah. <laughs> you killed the queen. <laughs> yeah, I probably did. <laughs> um, I remember you saying that she's 96. Yeah, that's true. 
It's all Pixel's fault. It's all part of the plan. It's the cult's plan. We had to, we had to off her. It was time. She's been around for too long. You know what? I find it weird. I find it really weird. <laughs> There's only one queen, the Raven Queen. Exactly. Exactly. There can only be one. Um. Yeah, it's it's so okay. It's gonna sound really weird because I don't I don't believe that I. Um. Oh, how do I explain it? I don't think I, I know more than other people or like I have any particular affinity for knowing these kinds of things. But I swear to God, it's the weirdest thing. Like when I, I will just be like chilling and then one day I'm like thinking about something like, oh, hey, when is this person going to die? Or like this person's going to die or something like that. And then it, like a week later, it happens. <laughs> Like I just have this 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 sixth sense where I'm like, oh, I haven't thought about this person in a while, so, and then they just die. <laughs> you guys ever get that? <laughs> Please don't think about me dying. I want to live for a few more weeks <laughs> while you finish your project. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I guess this amazing artist. Uh, thanks for the follow. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. So, wait, do I have a save? Thank you for reminding me. Because you know I forget. Yeah, so I don't know. Um, what's the deal in the UK at the moment? Because I know the last time, like, when, when what's her face, when Diane um when she died there was this big like i don't know there's this big thing in the uk where like people would just stop working and stuff like that now it's the queen who they apparently <coughs> was it medibang that used to uh crash on us no no what was it it was photoshop photoshop used to crash on us all the time like whenever I wanted to try and save stuff. Um, so yeah. They're going to have a funeral in 10 days or so. But I think uh, going to be some bank holidays etc. Oh my god. Can't. Yeah it's going to end up being like a bank holiday. And everybody's going to go off. You'll probably find there's like people all over the UK at the moment. Who are like taking off work. Because the queen died. And it's like yeah. That's a whole big thing. I don't know. It was Photoshop. Yes, that's uh, why we got the save reminder. Yes, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Among other things. Um... It was Photoshop, and then that was part of the reason why I quit Photoshop, and I was just like, nah, fuck it, I'm going to Clip Studio Paint. Um, that, and because Clip Studio Paint updated their Liquify tool, so now it's a really cool tool to use. Um, it's actually, uh, no, in terms of the way that it works, it's not better than Photoshop, but in terms of its, like, functionality, like, being able to do all this kind of stuff and do it really easily without having to open a Liquify panel, um... I was just like, yeah, it's, it's better. It's better than Photoshop for sure. We do not support Photoshop around here. Fuck those guys. <gasps> um, 
I think we did also use Medibang for a little while. And then why did I stop using Medibang? Because because it didn't have the same functionality. I'm low key at the moment um, thinking about trying, uh, what is it? Not Sketchpad, uh, Critter. I'm thinking about using Critter. Just because um, I was looking at Critter the other day and the it's become so cool and it looks a lot and functions a lot more like Photoshop. So there is some stuff where um, Clip Studio Paint, like for the most part, Clip Studio Paint is amazing. It's got all this 3D capability. You can like trace stuff. You can set up comics. It's mostly made for comics and like animators, like onion skin animators. Um, but in terms of like using it for graphics and that kind of stuff, and even just for like digital art, it's not that great, especially like the typing tool and that kind of stuff. And now they have a new version. It's like Critter 2 or something. Ah, Critter, it's Clip Studio Paint 2. Um, and, and people are just like, oh yeah, it's not going to be worth it because it's got like this weird subscription thing that they want to do where you, you, you pay a base fee. So like I own this, right? This piece of software is mine. I can do whatever I want with it. Um, and I get to keep it forever, but I don't get updates, right? It, once I'll still get updates for like version one, but once version two comes out, um, at some point they're going to stop with the updates. I think I've got about another two years or like a year and a half, something like that before they stop updating and this becomes obsolete. And then once two comes out, they expect you to pay for two, even though you've paid for one, which I'm like, okay, fair. There's a lot, a lot of new, um, like updates it's basically a new program that's fine but then in order to keep updates you have to not only pay for the full software you have to pay uh, monthly like a monthly thing kind of like Adobe um, so people are saying like oh yeah that just seems dumb so <clears throat> we shall see yeah uh, some of the people who joined last night were actually extremely upset about this. I kind of thought the royalty wasn't loved as much anymore, but seems they still care. Oh yeah, sure. They do. Like, there's lots of people who will be upset about this, and I'm just... I have... I have my opinions, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna reserve them for right now, because they're very bitter. But whatever. <clears throat> I do. Uh, PS Lightroom is amazing balls for photography. PS, yeah, Lightroom is pretty good. I won't lie. It's it's pretty good. It's laggy as hell, also. <laughs> or was I don't know now. Yeah. What? Uh, uh, Clip Studio Paint or Photoshop Lightroom? Lightroom is a bit a bit lags. Like I had problems with Lightroom before. The iPhone model, I see. Hmm. Um, okay, so uh, we were doing this and I wanted a little bit of red on the cheeks because why the fuck not? Yeah, so I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try Krita maybe in the future um, and see how that pans out because it looks really cool right now and it looks like it's got a lot to offer. But we shall see. iPhone model, as in you buy an iPhone a year later, the next version comes out and the old model is absolutely oh yeah 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 pretty much pretty much. A lot of people were saying like oh yeah you're being like Apple now. Um, and the old model is absolutely in regards to what you were saying about the software that was going, yes, to get a new paid update version. Yeah. Um, and they're planning to do the same thing in version three. So they've said like, oh yeah, we've got version two, version two isn't going to last very long. It's probably going to be like two or three years and then we'll have like a version three. And it's just like, but why you guys have such amazing software already? Um, <clears throat> and I get it. Like I'm, I'm, I believe that you should get paid for your hard work like they have a team and stuff um and i think that the software is absolutely great but you know it's kind of it's like photoshop 
Like, it's just going to end up being like Photoshop, where they have this monthly subscription that they tie people into. Then it's going to be like gym contracts, which is like, oh, yeah, we want you to sign for a year and you're going to pay $10 a month. And if you cancel, we're going to charge you half. That's what Photoshop does. Oh, my God, it drives me nuts. Fuck those guys. Why should I be paying for something I'm not using? Like, actually, I'm just tired of subscription models in general. Oh no, that's not true. I'm okay with subscription models. I'm just not okay with the bullshit that comes with subscription models, you know? Because it's like whenever you, you have like a good subscription model where somebody will subscribe to you and then like a year later, they just suddenly change the terms on you and go, hey, you've been subscribed for a year. You're a loyal customer. Let's just screw you for doing that. You know what I mean? Speaking of subscription models, have you guys seen my membership? <laughs> uh. I'm actually, uh, I need to start populating the Discord with stuff soon. I think I might do that tomorrow. I feel like I'm in the dark right now. I don't know. I had all the sun in my room. <laughs> and now it's just, it's become very dark, so. <laughs> I can be smooth sometimes. It is possible. Subscribe to Amazon Prime so you can join Pixel Subscriber Watch Along. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We could, uh, I don't actually have an Amazon Prime, just so you know. Oh, maybe I do. I have an Amazon account. I know I have one, um, but I don't ever use it. And <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if I, uh, not yet. <laughs> yeah. I kind of feel like it would be more genuine. Um, no, uh, no Amazon and SA, sadly. Sadly, what are you talking about? Fuck Amazon. Jeff Bezos can, uh, can go jump off a cliff. I wonder if you can get banned on Twitch for saying that kind of thing. Like, cause technically I don't think anybody cares. <laughs> Okay, I need, um, I need, I need, I need, I need you. Thanks. Oh, my nose is getting blocked again. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I've heard loads of big streamers make jokes about him. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, this room memes Jeff Bezos every stream. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, I don't think he cares that much. I think he's too busy trying to enslave humanity to give a shit about what he's, he's, his workers think of him. Um, I mean, we do, we technically, we don't really work for Amazon. Like Twitch might be owned by Amazon, but it's definitely not a situation. I don't know. I still feel like we we work for ourselves to be honest <laughs> he's too busy counting his billions of dollars <laughs> exactly <laughs> and let's be honest twitch themselves get like the raw end of the deal anyway because they're technically like a subsidiary of amazon but they're still beholding beholden to amazon's 
like shitty practices. So technically Twitch suffers too. I'm just hoping next time I'm, Jeff Bezos gets in his little fucking rocket and goes to space, it blows up. <laughs> like, that's harsh, but then, then honestly, what I want to do. Uh, Wednesday. You know what I really feel like right now? Garlic pizza. What are you guys doing for lunch? Hello, Bean. Oh, look at you. She just wants to come and sit on my lap. Baby cat. She's so cute. I eat for lunch. I mean, that's kind of what you do, don't, don't you? <laughs> Let's not go too far. <laughs> Listen. Uh, me and Twitch have a love-hate relationship. Yeah, I agree. I love their interactions, but I agree with you about the uh, the cut they take. I see why you prefer coffee. Oh, yeah. Coffee gives me 100% of what I, whatever you guys give me, right? So I'm just like, I don't know if it's the same in South Africa, but I looked it up and I was very confused because some people were saying that um, <laughs> I investigate for lunch. Uh, I think we all do, unless you eat out of the tube. <clears throat> doing dishes for lunch thanks for reminding me <laughs> enjoy your dishes uh yeah i i don't know about the cut that you get but i originally thought that i was so sometimes twitch takes a while to update the amount of money that you're getting so you'll see like a very small amount of money that um, shows up in your feed and then it should like update every month and then it, technically for some people it's a different amount so the actual calculation is only updated once a month and they give you like an estimate of what you're going to be earning I originally thought that it was like way too low because I got I was getting subs and I was getting like anywhere between 50 cents and one dollar out of those subs which is a quarter if not less um of of the actual sub and then I was like super confused so I was just like okay well I'll wait until the end of the month my update has happened already and it is exactly the amount that they have estimated um so I haven't gotten like any more than that so I get so little and then when I did some research it's like oh no it turns out it depends on the region that you're in and like how much fees PayPal takes or like your banking system takes and I'm just like well firstly why are you calculating the fees that my bank takes because PayPal is going to take that from me anyway so you're not paying PayPal, right? Like when that money goes into my account, I'm pretty sure I'm not getting my $6. I'm going to be getting like $5 something because PayPal is going to take that off of me, not you. Um, and they're just like, oh, no, well, it's our bank. It's like our PayPal issue. I'm like, I don't fucking care. Why am I paying for your shit? Anyway, so I'm tired of Twitch. And you're right. It is a love, love, hate relationship when it comes to... Um, Twitch in the way that they pay their creators. <clears throat> I honestly just think it's shady. It's like 100% shady Amazon practices where they're like, oh, well, we have constitutions and we have laws and stuff like that in, the, in America and America is our biggest market. So we're not going to fuck with the people there. But it's fine if we screw with people in smaller regions and we just like make shit up. Why did I do that? <laughs> I'm curious. Um, what is the, like, Kalash, you stream, right? Or you used to stream. What is the deal? Like, since you moved to the UK, have they changed the way that, um, they pay you? Or the amount? Oh, you don't. Okay, you don't. Never mind. 
You did it? Wait, what? <laughs> I did. I haven't looked because I haven't streamed. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'm just really curious if it is like, uh, also need to update all my stuff. Ooh, yeah, true. True, true. Um, yeah, I'm just curious because I know that Twitch knows where I'm streaming from. Oh, hey, Wednesday. Come. You were the one who slipped off of my lap, not the other way around. I didn't kick you off. Now go to sleep. Yes, go to sleep. Yes. Yes. What's up? Me. Cat's got issues today. Okay. <clears throat> uh, it's normally ba bad, but today is bad, yeah? <laughs> I feel you. It's a Friday. It's chill. We all need a, a bit of a break. Okay, I think... Mm. Okay, we have half an hour to finish a lot of these. I think we should, I, th I should be able to get through um, at least one more, I think. Wait. Okay, um, fine, that's fine, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put 
put too much detail around the neck because um, <clears throat> I don't want it to be that detailed. Do this one next. Oh my god. <clears throat> my nose is so stuffy. God, I wish I'd just get over this fucking thing. It's the worst. you doing today mr vibes how's your your flu it's still going on Uh, I think I'm good. I think I'm ready for Sunday. Why? What's happening on Sunday? <laughs> Everything else up to date? I'll only know when I test it. Yeah. You gonna test it now?
interesting. Okay, I like that. <clears throat> I'm gonna change it a little bit. I think once I merge everything down, I love seeing the progress. Uh, it's so amazing how it just gets better and better. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it is. It's really interesting. I think, especially when I I I tend to record a lot of the stuff, and then I have um, like uh, what do you call them? Like speed paints, essentially of a couple of seconds so it's really interesting to see how it sort of progresses um okay you know what is missing this art uh, this is missing and that helps me learn a lot as well i'll go like oh shit i don't know if i really like this thing What else do I need to do? Um, I think I want to leave this. I don't know, maybe I should. Um, <clears throat> I kind of want to leave it without shadow because I want it to stand out, but then at the same time, that looks really good in the viewer. Damn. You know what I feel like's missing though? Her ears, because I think her ears are really, really big. Yeah, 
Yeah, he is are important actually. They define her race in the game. Yeah, I know. Um. <clears throat> okay, you know what? Shit. pretty prominent um, and then I'm going to erase this I didn't even know if you're so sure it's not the end of the world, but don't want to make extra work for you. Nah, I mean, it's, it's chill. I need to, I need to add what is important to the design. Um, I'm just thinking like her ears are... Yeah, I mean, mm, yeah, you can see them. You can see them. I'm leaving that in shadow because it is it is behind the hand essentially, so that does make sense. And then the hair would sit behind the ear, so that needs to be there. Uh, how does that look? Yeah, that gives it a bit of definition for sure. Winston, relax. I just need to move my leg because you're sitting on it and you're killing it. Cool. Okay, yeah, I like it. Now I'm gonna say... <coughs> Nay, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. And I'm going to use the same color here.
Uh, what game is this character from? It's from uh, Genshin Impact. Yes, I like it. If I if I like it both ways, it means that it's cool. <laughs> okay, we're gonna save that, and then I'm gonna save it. And oh my! I did not record it. Why am I gonna like this? How did they not record that whole thing? Holy shit. I... Mmm. Mmm. Not the single recording. <laughs> I'm so sad now. <laughs> kind of a problem with that game. <laughs> Okay, well, my, oh, I feel, I'm like, hmm, record the next one. I have, I, I, like, most of them are being recorded. Like, usually when I start this, oh my god, then none of them are being recorded. What the actual fuck? I swear I saved them last night. Oh, you know what probably happened? Um, my PC switched itself off. Okay, this is recording. Good. Uh, it switches off, off in the middle of the night, essentially, and yeah, I guess it didn't save the stuff that I thought I'd saved. So, yay! But I'm, sh I'm so sure I had recording on that. I'm like so almost 100% sure that I had recording on that, and I'm just now, I'm, <sighs> I'm broken on the inside. Okay. So here's the thing, um, I am, <clears throat> it is almost two o'clock, in fact it's almost exactly two o'clock. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them to the side and we will continue doing them. I've gotten two done so far. So I don't know Jay, if you want me to send those to you in the meantime or if you want me to just like collectively send everything um, so that you can get it like approved all at the same time, it's totally up to you. <laughs> But what we are going to do is we're going to be making, um, I'm going to make a base based on Eddie Munson from um, Stranger Things. And then, this isn't recording, this is recording, okay, bye. Oh, also, I also want to do this, but just real quick, just real, real quick. Okay, so I want, this is something I want to, I want to start like posting memes and shit on my um, Twitter account. <laughs> So I want this to be a, this could be you meme, but with a cultist, because we're going to be doing, yes, give me this one, um, because we're going to be doing, uh, nap time parties later. And then, yeah, I once recorded a limited time event of Genshin one hour. Then when I went to edit, I noticed it was still recording, realized I never hit the record button, lost the... <gasps> Ooh, I hate when that happens. I <laughs> will wait for all of them if that's okay. Yeah, that's chill. That's chill. I'll send them through collectively. Um, yeah, I hate when that happens. Like, ah, oh, it's, it's happened to me a couple of times where uh, I was... I wanted to record... I almost did it. So I wanted to record this podcast, right? And so I was uh, recording with a group of friends and I had saved oh, it's a bit complicated so we did like a pre-recording so I could test stuff so I could test the audio and all that other stuff right and then um 
I ended up thinking I had pressed record and then recorded and then not recorded a bunch of stuff that was semi-important and then um, I went through to press record again to stop the recording because it was something I didn't want to record and I ended up recording the shit I didn't want to record and not recording the stuff I wanted to record. Luckily it was only like 10 minutes or something like that before I noticed what I was doing but god damn that gets me every time. I'm like why the fuck would you not hit record? Mm. Or like if you have um this is why I don't set keyboard shortcuts for my record because I know I just know I, it's going to be some dumb shortcut I'm going to accidentally hit it and it's going to stop recording or just record stuff that's like completely meaningless okay so I wanted I actually have it somewhere but I can't remember where I put it um, probably on my YouTuber stuff uh, no, I don't have it. We had like a little chibi. I'll show you now. I probably have to search somewhere. Ooh, here it is. so cute but something like this like I want a, I just want to put him in a robe <laughs> doing this like usually I trash content like this I'm just not down for but for some reason ever since I started doing um, <laughs> this whole cult thing I'm just like I'm so down for it just like just shit just cuz low trading just started oh I'm so sorry to hear that uh, we'll be looking for now thank you for the look I appreciate it good luck with low trading hopefully it's not so bad I mean, I should technically get like an actual robe and do this, but uh, I'm not, I couldn't be bothered trying to find a robe and then like trying to fit it by liquefying it into a thing. <laughs> just, we're literally just doing this. Now, where's my cultist reference? Here. Evil lists. I don't know, these robes do be looking really comfortable. I'm gonna just put it out there. Damn it, I ruined it. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna if I'm gonna keep that. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Now, what do I? Um, I don't know. Generally, cultist robes have like details on them. What do we got? Uh, some of them have, okay, you know what? That's cute. Oh, I love this. 
Okay, I think this is gonna be... So this one's just like a dumb meme at the moment. Um, but I, maybe in the future, like when I actually do animate cultist alerts and that kind of stuff, um, maybe we'll have this one. Because <clears throat> I think these are kind of cool. Although, maybe not, because they kind of remind me of the Ku Klux Klan. So... Yeah, maybe not in the better states. <laughs> nah, we're gonna skip that. I'm not, I'm, I don't wanna end up having like freaking DMCA's against me. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we're just gonna go with normal D&D style. Bitch, get out of here. Ugh, that's not what I wanted. So some of the some of the outfits have like this kind of I don't know what it's called. It's sort of like a shawl. Not a shawl. I don't know. Kind of like you know how monks, like monks have them as part of their. There you go. Just like kind of, it just it comes off the shoulders instead of going all the way down. Just say that the clan, the clan on Twitch castle. <laughs> I mean, I didn't mean to. I I don't know. How do you? I'm. Do we have a different name for it? I'll call them by a different name. I don't really care. Besides, I'm too small for that shit. Although I wouldn't put it past Twitch. <laughs> they probably have like some bot that listens for that kind of stuff. And then they ban you for saying it. I mean, it's not like I'm encouraging it. I'm not saying we're gonna start one. I was just saying that um, my idea, the idea that I had looked too much like it, so. You're never too small to get a double castle culture. I, I feel like you, I think, I feel like sometimes people are. Like, it's not worth going cancel culture on somebody who has like 100 followers on Twitter and and like only a thousand followers on, on Twitch. You know what I mean? <clears throat> that's not, not that that's a small number. Like I appreciate everything that, that um, like all the people that come to my stream and I appreciate the people who follow me. Cause I mean, I feel like I'm, it, it's crazy that people even follow me to be honest. But uh, I just feel like if, you, if you're gonna put in effort to try and cancel somebody, like the whole point is to get noticed, right? So if you're gonna go and cancel somebody, it doesn't really seem to make all that much sense to cancel somebody who's small because it's not gonna have an impact. It's not gonna, uh, it's, yeah. You're just gonna waste your time canceling somebody. And who the fuck, you're gonna, you're gonna stop like a hundred people from following me on, twi on Twitter? Psh, why? <laughs> you're back, welcome back. How are you? How was your, <clears throat> how was your lunch? Look, see, we have a sleepy cult, oh, uh, cultist, and I'm going to post this on Twitter and make the memes. We are making the memes real quick. Um, <laughs> we're going to start the sub drawers now. I promise. I promise. I'm just busy making this cultist look cool while he's sleeping. Yeah, I think, um, I think we're done. <laughs> I think I'm good. I think we're done. Okay. So, I'm gonna save that. Not there. I'm gonna save that in my... Uh, I have a marketing folder. Damn. But it's full of shit. I need to go through my folders. Like, my folders are just so messy. I have so much stuff. Um, I'm saving this up Andrew. Sleepy cultist 
And then we're gonna post this when um, I'm done. I better, I actually, I should just schedule it now. I'm just gonna schedule it now. Uh, haven't made lunch yet, just finished dishes. Make some popcorn just now, that's not lunch. That's not lunch. You better be making some proper lunch. Oh my god, Wednesday. Why you just sit on... Where's my Twitter? Oh, it was outside. I heard somebody starting an engine and I was like, what? Is that in my house? <laughs> Why have you that? Oh, I pick up some. of this i'm fucking confused right now like i'm so proud of this stupid thing i made no control for that yet. okay that can disappear um this can also go i don't need it no more bye uh and i want a you can have this, but I want a brand new. One thousand. That's one thousand by one thousand. I want five five hundred by five hundred. Thank you. Okay, so we'll work on the base. Um, I might not get everybody's done today, but I I have two of them that I have in mind. <coughs> How do you spell lanky? <laughs> no, I think that's how you spell it. <laughs> <coughs> um, <coughs> so here's the deal. I I need to choose an SCP. I have like a whole list of SCPs. I'm not sure which one I want to read.
Alright, so what's the date today? Today is the 9th. Um, and what time are we gonna, we're gonna be doing it at 4. So, hey, stay home. 4. We did it. I did it. <laughs> uh, what picture did I want again for four subs? I just need a picture of like you <laughs> or whatever um, character. Like if there's a character that you want to use instead, because these are going to end up being like profile pictures, essentially. Um, also, Twitter should be called. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that. Uh, I got random notifications from people I don't follow like Pokemon boys. I'm 52 and I'm still hot. <laughs> Just a picture of boobs. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah, Twitter is fucking weird lately. Like, I will get all kinds of DMs about, um, <coughs> about, like, single women in my area type, type stuff. I used to get a lot of that. Now I get, like, a lot of stuff related to work where I, I'll just be added to like this group, the spam group of like, oh, wanna earn money in your spare time? I'm like, shut up. So yeah, I get tons of that. And I'll usually get them together. So like yesterday I got two in my mail and I, I was just like, why would you, why would you do that? I know you're the same person. Like you're the same fucking bot. Or if you're not a bot, then you're like an actual scam artist, you know, and you're, you have literally just, from two different people, sent me the same message in the same fucking group. It's insane. Alright, so. <clears throat> I have. I have. What have I done? We have done <laughs> I have done nothing today. Um. <clears throat> we do this. Uh, I am going to go on break real quick. I'm gonna go and make some tea because I need some tea. I have coffee here, but I want some tea. Um... Oh, that's what that smell is. Okay. You know when you're sick and like everything just smells weird? Um, yeah, that's me right now. So I was, I was, I was having, I wasn't dealing with it very well, but I could smell, you know, like when you smell cigarettes when you're sick, um, I was smelling that, but then it turns out, no, it wasn't cigarettes. It's actually my fucking coffee because <laughs> the smell of coffee feels so very strong when you're, um, <clears throat> when you're sick. So, okay. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to go on intermission. I don't know why, but my intermission screen is not working, which bugs me a lot because, um, neither of them are working. The GIF related one and the um the actual hold on let me do this okay i'll put the png instead there you go so my gift's not working which is unfortunate because we literally just animated it last week and i was super happy with it now it doesn't fucking work um <clears throat> but that's fine i need pictures yes i need pictures of of either you or uh your streaming persona i guess uh and then i'm gonna turn those into into sub profile pictures i don't my brain blank there i need to go um i will see you guys in like five minutes so yeah i'll be back bye
Okay, we are back. Oh my god. This cat. <laughs> what a butt. <laughs> Wednesday. Come, stop. 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 Sleep. Hey. All the goddamn attention. All of it. <laughs> the pressure. Listen, um, you can you don't have to send me pictures of like yourselves if that's if that's like a thing. I'm not gonna dox people. Um so I'm not gonna put like I'm not gonna put the images on screen. So nobody's gonna see you guys. And also if you don't want the like little character to be yourself, you can send me anything. You can send like, I don't know, fucking transformer if you wanted. Oh, Ronnie, <laughs> why? <laughs> yes, you can relax Wednesday, thank you. I'm having some issues with my tablet. Oh, wow, it is not picking up today, I don't know why. Stop! All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, stop. Hey. Hey. <coughs> Behave. Behave. No, ow. Behave. <coughs> yeah, otherwise she just... She just loses her mind. Sends all the Optimus Prime pictures, yeah. DM, yeah, DM me on Discord. Uh, hello? Hello? Okay, so I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna start this one with a bit of a, wow, excuse me, you see, uh, I'm gonna, Wednesday, please stop. Yes, yeah, catch it, catch it, or eat the bird. Go, do it. Do it, go eat the bird. Uh-huh. my PC. <coughs> uh, could you draw a Growlithe? Hmm. I guess I could. Um, I was going to just make them all like Eddie Munson. <laughs> so Eddie Munson Growlithe. Uh, but if you want, I can do it. I can just draw like a normal character. Huh? Why would you just stop like that? Yeah, I don't know. It it's so weird. Like that, I, my pen's not picking up properly or something. Something's up. <coughs> yeah, you like Eddie? I like Eddie too. Eddie's cool. Eddie's like uh, the cult leader I want to be. <laughs> He's not a cult leader. Uh-uh, come now, stop. <coughs> stop. 
Stop. Stop. Yes, this, this cat needs to go outside. Yes, sit there. Good cat. Thanks. Or... What did you just do? I don't even know what you did. St <laughs> ah, Wednesday. Come on. It's driving me nuts. Yes. Yes, go catch it. Yes, go catch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if, okay, what about this? What if I, what if I made an Eddie Munson in a Goliath costume? How about that? Draw Tribute Wednesday Adams with the Eddie twist. Oh, I love that. Yes, that's going to become an emote on our channel for sure, for sure. <clears throat> so I'm going to say, um, once I'm done with this, what do you call it? Like this template, I guess. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna. We're gonna go through the list of subs. So, Kalash, that would you be you, Mr. Vibes? That's you. Um, who else? I think. Uh, I think Jay is also one. Um, I need to go and find my list of subs. I know there's a list of subs here somewhere. Content community. There's a roles manager. How come we have we have so I have a, a roles manager and a followers list, but like subs. Where? Viewer rewards. Channel points. Drops and emotes. No. Do you guys know where we find our subs list? <clears throat> yeah? I don't know, it's so weird. You would think like the subs list would be the... the like the one thing that Twitch would, would have. Considering... How important they are to channels. This is quite possibly the most D D thing I've done <laughs> on this channel so far. <laughs> You need to just remember all your sub names. It's part of being a dreamer. <laughs> Gotta remember them all off by heart. For sure. I mean, okay, yeah. For me, it's not that big a deal. Because I'm like... I have six subs. Which is great. I love that. Um, but yeah. Imagine being, imagine being a streamer who has like thousands of subs. And then you're just like... Oh, hey. I don't know anybody's name. You know what? I'm <laughs> I'm having so much fun drawing this. I am going to literally use this as a template for everything from now on. Like I'm a uh, hella meme the shit out of this this photo. Everything's gonna be this fucking photo, or like drawn in some some manner of reference to this image. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, it's a story to see your subs for sure But like how cool would it be if you had if you had a list of like your subscribers? It must be okay. No, it's time to bug me now um, uh, 
Mm, um, 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 uh, where to see your subs? I actually think there is a way to do it, and it's it's not on Twitch. It's like a third party. Where to see your subs on Twitch? Here you go. Um, once you open the dashboard, you'll see a selection named stats in the left half of the screen, right under stream information. Oh, that's, no, that's not, um, under stats, you can check how many views your videos have. No, but that's stats, it doesn't, it doesn't show me, like, how, to see who's subscribed to you on Twitch, there you go, that's what I'm looking for. How to see who is subscribed to you on Twitch. Descriptions on Twitch will remain. Yeah, yeah, I got that. You know, why is it every time I go to like an article or something, or not an article, I like look something up on Google, you can never get a straight answer. It's always like, did you know that subscribers are the main way to make money on Twitch? Yes, I use Twitch. Thanks. That's why I'm asking, idiot. Uh, go to your dashboard and community, then role manager. Yeah? I don't know, all I see on my role manager is, um, here you go, roles manager, and then it goes roles moderator. So moderator, artist, VIP, and editor, and then that's it. Like you can't, there's nothing else. I think you used to be able to view subs this way. <coughs> Ah, okay, so how many subscribers do I have today? Okay, so but that's so dumb, they make you download it. You go to channel analytics, and then under your channel analytics, it says how many subscribers do you have today, and then it'll tell you like how many what subscribers you got, and then below that it says downloads my download my subscribers list. How to import the CSV file to Google Sheets. Like that's so ridiculous. I can see who follows me on Twitch, but I can't see who fucking subscribes to me. Jesus H Christ. Like, that is actually pathetic, Twitch. Right? Like, how do you not have a fast way of seeing... Like, what if I want to halfway through my stream, right? I'm just like, oh, I wonder who subscribed to me. And then I've got to do this whole thing on stream and, like, download a whole CSV file. That is so weird. <laughs> like I said, a story. Yeah, it's true. It is a whole fucking story. That's insane. That's madness. And then they, and then Twitch is like too preoccupied dicking around with like trying to take hosts away. Who cares about hosts, bro? Fix your sub stuff. That is actually shameful. You know what? This is... I just realized something. So, uh, when we made my model, right? <clears throat> when we when we made Cordelia, I'm sure you guys have seen a couple of times when I was rigging it. Like, she has this really long tongue. And <laughs> I actually think that I want to somehow turn that into a toggle. And I want to animate, like, this specifically. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Uh, is it okay if, if I add you in the artist role on my channel? For sure. I mean, I'm gonna be sending you um, emotes anyway, because you won the emote giveaway last week. So, for sure. You can add multiple artists, just by the way. So, I would be honored. Damn, why am I, why is everything blowing up? Oh, it's because my battery is dying. How is my battery dying so quickly? You know what? I know why it's dying so quickly. It's because of 
Spotify, assholes, and Instagram, and, um, and TikTok. They eat your battery so much. Oh, and Twitch. Twitch is forever, like, telling me, oh, this person's live. I'm like, yeah, no, I know. Chill. Yeah, my battery's dying. <laughs> I kind of like this, but I also sort of, there's a specific song on YouTube that I want to play at the moment. It is literally like a, it was made for Eddie Munson. It's like a synthwave. I, I'm, it might actually be in this list. I'm gonna see if I can find it. How are you gonna do me like that, YouTube? It's nowhere near here, so I don't actually know if I'll find it anytime soon. Puppy <laughs> though, feeding the hound. Well, hopefully she enjoys her food. Good luck with that. I think my PC should fit nicely. With what? Oh, you mean like the, the character? Okay, wait, wait. I need to go to Discord and I need to check it out. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna hi, hello. Okay, so you want, okay, I see it now. So you want the character um, with red hair and green eyes. Give her a little bow in the hair. Ooh, that's cool. Um, do you want that as the character that you're drawing or am I drawing you? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So your, your character should, or your pick should be good. Yeah, I think it'll be good. I think, uh, I think definitely. Let's go with that. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but one of my, uh, one of my other clients just sent me a thing saying that the queen is dead. I'm kind of like, yep, yeah, yeah, I know. Those are, yeah, okay, so those, so that's for your emotes. That's perfect. I understand now. I get it. I get it. I get it. For sure, for sure. Okay, so. I'm going to have a look real quick. Yeah, buddy. Uh, it should be easy to fit to Eddie, I hope. Yeah, I think so. I think the I think the looks are very similar. So it's cool. We're gonna use that. Also, for any of you who are new, welcome to the stream. We are drawing Eddie Manson. Well, no, we're not drawing Eddie Manson. Um, today I am going to be drawing subs and members. Uh, I have coffee members as well. 
Uh, I'm going to be drawing sides and members as Eddie Munson um, in a profile pic. So if you guys want to join that, you are welcome to. Let me see. Actually, I'm not. I'm not going to do the clothing. I mean, I'm gonna. <clears throat> I do want to do the Hellfire Club. And I think maybe having the waistcoat makes sense. Also, can we discuss the whole, um, if I shaved and cut my fringe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, but every time I imagine Eddie, I imagine him with a beard, like, in my brain. And then I see him, and I'm like, no, wait, he's clean shaven. And <laughs> it's just weird. I feel like it's a bit weird. For no reason. I'm also very upset about the fact that he's dead. I really wanted to see him in the next season. I actually don't even know if there is another season coming. Have they greenlit it yet? shit <laughs> 2024 only dude you know how long i waited for this season i mean as long as everybody else did but still it felt like forever i almost <laughs> like low-key i almost just got over it because you know the thing is the what are we this is the fourth season right so the second and third season no what season are we green for fourth season right um This is the fourth season, right? Season four. Fourth season of America. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was released in May this year. Um, yeah, so this is the fourth season. And the second and third seasons, I was kind of like, I mean, it's okay. But this last season really, really did make it up. It did it all look so grown up, yeah. I don't know, people have this weird obsession with the kid with like these kids that I mean they're just child actors. I don't know, it's very weird to me.
So I'm gonna reimagine it a little bit because um, the characters are gonna be different. Like it's not. I don't know. Do we like the jacket? I guess we like the jacket. We'll keep the jacket. <laughs> I agree. I think it is going to be cool. <clears throat> Assuming I don't make it look weird. <laughs> you need that popcorn? Go ahead and enjoy your popcorn. me Okay. <clears throat> that hurts a little bit, not fine. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. Um <clears throat> sorry, my slabs will go with your one first. Um feeding the hound. Kalash, I don't think uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I don't think he sent me anything yet. Um, okay, yeah. Obviously, I don't know, it's a stream, I guess, it's a bit, uh, like, not many people want to feature on stream, I guess? So, I don't know, I will have to, we'll work on, like, different pieces, and maybe I'll even do it into next week, once I've gathered enough from everybody else. Um, I know that Cheddar is also a sub, I have to go and, like, check, and make sure, like, who is and isn't the sub, which is 
again a twitch issue um <clears throat> so we will see Maybe somewhere in my emote section, people don't know. That's so crazy. It is so crazy to me that Twitch doesn't have like a list of your biggest supporters. So dumb. Um, yeah, so I'll get I'll get that from everybody. Okay, so, um, Mr. Vibes, we're going to start with yours, and then I will do cheddar if I still have time. We've got about an hour, so I should be able to get the sketches done. I must say... <laughs> What's your shirt say? Also, your hair's like a lot like Eddie's anyway. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, I need to actually. I'm gonna duplicate that real quick. You can go away and then I'm gonna put it on the top layer just in case I woke up like this okay like that okay so I'm gonna have to I, this, I'll find a way Couldn't like this for now. And this one's black as well, so yeah. <coughs> I was visiting a friend in Durban and he took me to Hooters. I was impressed with the size of their beer. <laughs> yeah, Hooters is, is like, they have really big portions when it comes to Hooters. Like, it's still American portions of shit that they make. And they do really have good chicken wings, so. really are tearing up the road outside. I don't know if anybody can hear it. <clears throat> I think my mic's got enough like cancellation on it for it not to. So yeah. 
to subscribe. It's got to I love how we have to have like a an entire separate um, website. Wow. This is tier one, but how long have they been here? Toscana has been here for a while. <laughs> I'm a say yeah, uh, send DM on Discord. Thank you. Cool, cool. Okay, so we'll go with the with your logo. Boy, thanks. Okay. I think these are going to really take shape once I start adding the, um, the color to them. I wonder if I... Okay, wait. We do this. And then I do... I don't know, I kind of like that angle. <laughs> the one before. Let's see. Okay, this one, this one. Um, uh, um, uh, I don't know. I like that, I like that one better, I think. What I might do is just make it a little bit bigger. <laughs> okay, so that is one. Uh, where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put this under. I'm just gonna call them, I'm gonna call them Munson. Okay, so our next one. Have it already. I'm glad you like it. Hmm. 
Okay. <coughs> so next one's gonna be um, kind of short hair. But I'm still gonna make it a bit like wild. like that. I just want to rage sometimes. I get like all this spam from um, local companies and I just, I hate it, I hate it. It's happened ever since the, it, like my network has some fucking deal. They sell my number. My own goddamn network. Sell me out. It's irritating. Doubles. Not that easy to put on an emote. <laughs> um, in an effort to try and stop it from looking super uniform. Because it's not. Do a beard then? No, it's chill. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm go in the in to remind me in the um, sketch phase. I'll put stubble, but then when I color it, I'll just put like a few here and there to kind of give the edges. And then what I'll do is I'll just um, kind of color it. You know, you know when you have like a, an afternoon shadow or whatever it. It colors the face. It makes the, the face like a, more of a gray color as opposed to thing. What? Oh, do a porno, uh, porno, porno stash? Like the 80s cops? Oh my god, yes. Wait, which one? Because there's like, you could, do, you could do like this Starsky and Hutch style um, porno stash. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to you you have to do the like the edges you know what i mean you got to do the edges you got to like it's got to be fluffy on the edges i don't, I don't know why <laughs> it's so it's so 80s in comparison to like a normal mustache where you would um you would kind of like make them but not thin, not thin, but the edges are like waxed basically. Um, and so they're just very pointy. And then you've got like, that's like the, your 19, not even 19, it would be like 18 something. Whereas like the the 70s porno star just like always has, it's very bristly at the end. It's, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Thinking more a uh, squarish one, but go crazy. Wait, wait, wait. You mean like a uh, uh, like the God? Everybody had one in in like the early two thousands, like this. Hmm. 
Like that? I went to top again, but I'm not allowed to shave my beard. Wait, what? Oh, you mean, uh, wait, what's the top gun? Send me a picture, I need to know. Um, I just, all I think about, um, from that era is, so, no, like the 60s. So we're going like before the 70s, 60s. Just handlebars. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, it's so, it's the worst cut ever. Please, can people stop doing this? How do you even? Because surely this must be so fucking irritating. I can just imagine being a guy and like having a mustache and then going like, you say that in DM and good day. Oh yeah, okay. I know what. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> wait, I need to see this properly. Oh uh, yeah, okay, okay. I see what you mean. <clears throat> the one that covers your top lip. Lip. <laughs> it looks painful. Like, how do you, how do you function? Because I can't imagine having something like, it's one thing to have something over the top of your lip, right? And then like, even sitting on top of your lip, that would be so annoying. Had to use Kevin Bacon. <laughs> um, but then like you have, now you have something down the sides and then what, like when you eat, that must be such a nightmare. Like beards in general must be such a nightmare. How do, how do you eat? How do you eat? I'm really, curious like especially when it's a big beard so technically it's this the one that like connects your nose to your <laughs> to your top <laughs> like that oh yay all Bruce Lee and shit. I have, I've just drawn so many beards and I, well not beards, moustaches and I like, you know what's really funny is before I started doing emotes and stuff, I had no idea how to draw shit. And then I don't, for some reason, just the act of simplifying stuff and putting it into, um, into like a cutesy style just helped my brain recognize like how things look. Now I know how to draw things. <laughs> it's the weirdest. Look, it like even goes, it caterpillars like over, over somebody's, uh, I don't know. That shit weird. <clears throat> Eating is fine. Drinking is an issue. Yeah. I don't, um, maybe it's cause I didn't, cause I haven't like, I don't have one and I've never had one, but I can just imagine the like. I guess if you got one of those ones that you stick on, it doesn't make, it's not really the same because like the hair is a part of you. So if you have a stick on moustache, it's like not a part of you. And it's sort of like, I guess akin to wearing false eyelashes. Like you're very aware of it, but but it, does, it doesn't move nicely with your body because it's not a part of your body <laughs> with great precision. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know, that shit weird. Okay, I like this one, we'll keep it. We'll keep it, I have variations if you want. Um, on. On like, if you want different moustaches, we have different moustaches. I'm gonna do that and then, um, since your shirt is checkered, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make this check it too, but I'm gonna put it on a different layer so that I can crumple it up later. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, so that's our second one. This one is Carnage. Sweet. 
Okay, who's next? Um, so... <laughs> it's amazing, so handsome. <laughs> it's true, he does look pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna say... That's um, restore. That's fine. And this is the checker, that's fine. So, um... Mining. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh -huh. We're gonna save that real quick. Okay, so these two can be deleted because um, I've already I've saved them. They are saved. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, so now what I'm gonna do? Um, I'm skipping popcorn and making chips and bread. That sounds uh, super unhealthy, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. So let's see. So Cheddar's the next one I'm going to go for. Pugs isn't here. I don't have anything from him. And Jay, I don't have anything from him either. I don't really know what he wants. Uh, Tishana, I need to... I need to um, speak to them about what they want as well. So we will see. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do Cheddar. <clears throat> and then hopefully, because... Because everything's kind of done, it's going to take me like 10 minutes to do his one. Um, and then pro I'm probably going to use the last 10 minutes to do a Wednesday Adams because I really want this as a an emote for my channel. So I'm either gonna I'm either going to do a Wednesday Adams and save it for my channel, or I'm gonna do Wednesday Adams and a Cordelia, and then have the Cordelia for my channel, and maybe put the Wednesday Adams up on my coffee shop. We shall see. We shall see. <clears throat> All right. So I need a where's Cheddar? I am the worst. I was supposed to do something with him this week, and then I got sick. Well, well, well. I think he'll, <laughs> I think he'll be um, quite happy with his his little emote, though. I think I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna keep it in the vein of his previous emotes because I don't necessarily want him to just have an emote and then um, it's different. So I'm just trying to see where did I, I just saw. Uh, huh? Huh? What? Money. Oh, I thought I had sent him a bunch of emotes at time. Okay, so his character has a bandana and headphones. And then I don't know. We're gonna we'll put something cool on. Uh, okay, wait. I actually do know where I have images of his emotes. Wow, they do be making a lot of noise today. Don't know if anybody can hear that. Okay, so we kind of have this, um, this, this, do you work? Thank you. Uh, we've got this one, and then uh, I've got this one. Yes, Wednesday, what are you, what are you beeping about? Okay, they're hella blurry because this was back when I used to resize things, but now Twitch has its own resizing tool, so I just kind of leave it up to Twitch. Um, and to people, because I don't want to have to resize a bajillion, like, different things, because people are going to use stuff. Here, what? Oh, okay, no, there's, like... There's a bunch of noise coming from my street. You need to go shopping? You should go shopping. Sure. Okay. Put it on your to-do list of stuff. It's super healthy, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I um, before I got sick, I was doing like the super healthy thing and now that I'm sick, I just, I can't imagine doing anything super unhealthy. Uh, Cause I just feel like ass afterwards and I just, 
chips and bread no there's too much carbs okay good okay so it's not picking up my mic is not picking up that's great give me one second i need to switch my light on Yes, little Wednesday. <laughs> All I hear is some woman talking. <laughs> Lol. How dare she? Damn woman. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, uh, hmm. his hair is kind of long. So I'm gonna say, YouTube, did you just pause my shit again for no reason? Listen, you and I, we're gonna talk. I got words, bro. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> women talking on my stream what the fuck so rude okay so um um uh, sure if i like that Okay, that's fine. And I'm just gonna kind of have the hair. Cause I want I want the I want the hair to kind of display the wildness of the characters. So that's why I was like with your one, um, just make it wild. Just make it make the hair wild. also got that very uh what is the word it kind of it was the same thing that i saw in um i watched thor love and thunder last night and uh it's definitely that like 80s metal rocker acdc style I feel like that's a bit off. Need to watch that. Natalie Portman is my jam. <laughs> um, yeah, you're not going to be happy then. But yeah, it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. What were we watching? Uh, uh, Thor, Love and Thunder, the new Thor. It's got, it was directed by, what's his name, Taito Akiki or whatever. Um, and his stuff is so weird. It's insane, uh, but also funny at the same time. So, have you guys seen, uh, shit, what is it? He did a series. He did a series. Because she's buff or because of the helmet? Oh, no. No, no, no. Neither of those things. <laughs> you haven't seen it? You should watch it. Um, no, not for either of those things. She's awesome, though. Like, in the in the movie, she's awesome. But I'm just going to say, just put it out there. You're going to be sad. Um, Oh, 
bye bitchy. So much better. Uh, have you guys seen? Oh, fuck! What is the name of that series now? Give me a second. Our our flag means death. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Please tell me you've seen it. It's a fucking amazing. Such a good series. <laughs> Maybe I'll watch it tonight. Um, what? Uh, with the Lord of Ri of the Rings was good. Oh yeah, Rings of Power. I enjoyed it. I thought it was so so good. Cheddar, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Just in time. I am drawing a Cheddar uh, Eddie Munson. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing sub draw at the moment. Um, and for anybody who's like subbed or become a member on coffee, I am drawing them as Eddie Munson basically. So, we think of you new emote or profile picture, whatever the fuck you use it for. I don't, I don't really care. What do you want in your t-shirt? No, you haven't seen it? Oh my god, watch my flag means death. It is so insane, but it's also really good at the same time. I'll buy that. I mean, you're a sub already, so. Yeah, you'd be done. Nice, nice. Okay, so. <coughs> Sorry, I just need to. I just need to add a cool t shirt. Everybody else has a cool t shirt. You can have one too. Cool, cool. You can drop it on Discord if you want, if there's like an image that you want. Um, and then, so I'm just gonna, we're preemptively, I'm looking for Wednesday Adams because I, I know what she looks like, but I'm not gonna draw it off the heart because that seems kind of redundant. Um, we are 3.33 at the moment, and I definitely have time to draw a Wednesday Adams and a Cordelia in this emote style, which will be freaking awesome. Uh, who else am I missing? Where is my list of subs? Pugs. Okay, I'm gonna have to go find Pugs. And Jay's in, he's, he's having issues because they have, he has no electricity at the moment, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna hear from him until after. After the stream? I got distracted by um, the internet. <laughs> You know what? I'm just gonna give you the Hellfire Club. No, actually, I'm gonna reserve it. No, no, no. You can have it. Hellfire. You know what? <laughs> Yes, okay, you know what, I'm gonna do this. Um... <laughs> I don't, we don't actually, 
actually have like a name for our cult. Like our cult doesn't have a name per se. We're just kind of like cultists. That's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna save this. Yes. And then that's gonna go away. That. Oh yeah, I still have a mustache. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna make another one. <clears throat> and then um, let me go and find Wednesday Adams. No, I don't want the trailer, thank you. Oh no, everything's everything's like the new Wednesday Adams now. God damn it. I want I want the original Wednesday Adams, okay. Oh I just I see the similarities now. I just realized um the the original Christina Ricci versus I don't, I don't know who the new Wednesday Adams in but but I see the similarity now. I see it. <laughs> yeah, I see that, dude. I mean. She does have, like, she does have this really, um, I don't know, maybe it is because she played Wednesday Adams, um, but she's always had this really, like, strange vibe about her that I fucking love. It's, it's, I think it's women like her that made me realize that I liked women when I was younger. For sure. Maybe a bit too animated for her, but then I'm sort of like, me, maybe not. Um, I'm also gonna change the front, so yeah. <laughs> Amber Heard would be a good Wednesday, a scuffed Wednesday, maybe. <laughs> Do it, Amber Heard's a bitch, so yeah. I feel like most people who weren't into like the typical girls would definitely be into like Wednesday Adams style. Also, let's not forget Morticia. Morticia is amazing. I love her.
Welcome back, Jetta. We were discussing we were discussing Wednesday Adams and Morticia Adams. Jim Malone is also a crush. Love dangerous uh, lives of older boys. I ha I don't think I've ever seen that. It's really good. I think uh, I think I will have to watch it. There's actually since it's ha Halloween's coming up soon, I am so eager to sit and have like a movie marathon um, of just horror movies from various various eras. <coughs> I actually buy the Eddie emote. The girlfriend's got a huge crush on, crush on him. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I, I'll tell you what, uh, because this is like a sub, this is, you're going to get it anyway. Um, but I will do a proper Eddie Manson one for her, if you want to buy that one. Manson, sorry. I know I've been pronouncing it Manson for a while. <laughs> but yeah, drop me, drop me a DM. Let's chat. Also, how is the girlfriend? She's doing good. Do you guys, you guys go to like festivals and stuff together? Yeah. Done for that. Um, doing Sabaton next week. A new remote is on there. So yeah, perfect timing. Um, we go to festivals and gigs together. That's cool. That's cool. What was the last festival that you guys went to? I had a girlfriend once, she had a crush on the singer. I organized a backstage pass. I don't have a girlfriend anymore. <laughs> what? No. That's the word. I'm sorry. 
Uh, Blood's like, we have only been together like two months. No arguments, just a good time, luckily. That's, that's kind of how it should be, I think. I don't think, Miles and I like didn't fight until, well not fight, like I don't think we've ever fought. We've had arguments before. That's like completely different. Um, but I think our first argument was like, I, just after we moved in together. And then it's kind of like, you're getting to know that person on a different level. So, I don't know, I guess it was like six months after we started dating. Which I, I, I'm kind of like, that's sort of how it should be. Like you really shouldn't be, if you're happy together, then there shouldn't really be cause for arguments, I guess. But yeah, two months, dude, congrats. That's awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I still have a cough. Okay, so that's the Wednesday Adams. I don't know that I'm gonna do a Cordelia because I kind of wanna get ready for our nap time party. <laughs> it's gonna happen soon. Um, yeah, we will see. We'll see how this goes. I don't know. I just thought it would be a fun idea. Um, it's Friday. It's time for everybody to take a nap. I feel like if you all took a nap, you'd wake up later and you'd be happy. <laughs> That's what happens when I nap. I wake up later and I'm like, oh, hey, that was good. That was a good nap. So yeah, nap time, nap time. Exactly. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling better for sure. I just, it just hasn't gone away yet. Like my voice is still scuffed and I still get uh, occasionally I'll be doing something and then I'm like, oh my god, I'm so tired. So yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe it was COVID. I haven't really left the house in a while, so sort of self-isolating at the moment. Um, but yeah, the last little problem is, is it's like my nose and my lungs, basically. Uh, they're still not 100%. But not dying like I was on, on like Sunday and Monday. Oh my god. I had like this crazy fever and I just, ugh, I didn't feel good at all. How about you guys? I know, um, I know Mr. Vibes got sick. But how about you? Are you doing okay? Sounds like a COVID. <laughs> yeah, it's good that you're improving. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. It's, uh, it's weird. I think it's just like a micron or something. Must be because it's taking so long to recover as well. Usually, I, I recover quite quickly, um, and I also haven't. I think part of the problem is I haven't really had an appetite, so I've got to try and force myself to eat, um, which is not great because then your body obviously doesn't recover. So. Yeah, that's the thing. But yeah, I was really bummed that I that we, that I had to cancel um, session on Monday because I had I have all these plans, <laughs> I have all these plans, and I'm like, ooh, gonna play with everybody on Monday, and then I yeah, had a coffee is food, right? <laughs> no, I I think I've had the first time I have had coffee in about a week is today, um, and. Mind you, I'm not drinking that much coffee anyway, so it wasn't that bad. Okay, I'm gonna save that. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know, we, I drew some moustaches and then it was... <laughs> Excited for Monday? Me too! Uh, coffee is not just food, it's life, really. Wednesday had to have blood on her hands. I think, you know what, I think you're right. I think I'm gonna use my last 10 minutes to do exactly that. Um, no, you know what, I'm gonna change my brush, because I can.
And it's cool because that kind of differentiates. I mean, it doesn't look like it differentiates right now because, I mean, her hair is black and the blood that I'm putting on here is black. It's not really black. It's going to be red. Um, but yeah, it'll make it stand out a whole bunch, I think. Okay, sweet. So, that's Wednesday's one save. Ta-da! We are leaving. Wait. I'm gonna save this with the PNG. This is fine. Um... <coughs> It actually is my nap time, so I have a good week. Uh, so I have a good weekend. Thank you so much. I appreciate uh, you popping in. Enjoy your nap. We are about to nap too. Um, as I read you guys, SCP. So uh, I need to know what is everybody's favorite SCP? Because I have a list of SCPs, but should miss them say. Well, ah, my back. Oh, I sorry, you were napping too. Oh my god, my PC has just like stopped. What the fuck? What the hell happened there? Okay, I don't know. That was weird. And it still hasn't saved. Is it? Did I? What? Oh no, it's saved. Okay. Never mind then. You, you are recording. Yes, that's perfect. No, don't save. Um, this one too. This one. And that is the next emote that we're going to be working on. So. Cool. It can go away. I have so many tabs open, it's actually disturbing to say the least. Um, that's the Twitch. Um, okay, so <clears throat> I wish they had they have like the highest rated SCPs and then it's just like a list of the SCPs and their numbers But no images no nothing like I don't know. I don't know how you're supposed to know what SCP it is um, I have to log in Excuse me Excuse me I guess that makes sense because it's a. Uh... No, there is no login on this site. I don't know. Do you guys know what SCP-999 is?
So here's what's going to happen. I am here either. I am going to uh, let's just see something. Position one six is an image. Oh, now that works. Okay, so we're gonna, um, I'm gonna go for a, a, go into intermission for a couple of seconds um, and I'm just gonna have a stretch, go make myself some more coffee and I will be back soon so that we can start doing our uh, nap time party. So get your blankies, get ready. I will see you in a little bit. Okay, bye. What I'm going to do is run.
can sit, but I don't want to hear any nonsense. Come on. Alrighty, welcome, welcome. I I can't tell anymore. I can't tell what the fuck's going on with my audio. Um, sometimes it's sometimes it's muted, sometimes it's not. I guess it depends on the scene that I'm pulling up, um, <coughs> or it unmuted itself at some point. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna be reading um, SCP related. Uh, Wednesday, stop. Um, yeah, SCP related articles. The first one that we're going to be reading is SCP-140. I don't know if I've ever heard this one before, but that is what we're going to be reading. I might, you know what? Let's do this. I'm going to go and find, um, uh, some sleepy time music. Because I think maybe the dark synth wave is a bit much. So, let's go, uh, lo-fi beats. Lo-fi beats are good. Here you go. Comfy lo-fi beats for our creepy SCP Foundation reading. <laughs> Let's do it. <clears throat> so I think the, the way that this is going to work best is if um, you guys are comfortable and kind of in a state where you are potentially going to nap i know for some of you it's probably like one or two in the afternoon or super early in the morning i don't know it depends on where you are or it's super late at night so um yeah hopefully this will be fun Ow. that's so rude she is so rude she just puts her claw in in my leg and expects that I give her attention. Why are you gonna hurt me? Hmm? No. No. That's a big fat no for you. Just finishing this uh, 10 10 mission, then I'm actually off to sleep for work tonight. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> what it's love? It's not love, <clears throat> it's torture. She likes to torture me. Okay, so let's start. This is a story from the SCP Foundation. This is SCP-140. Uh, Item number SCP-140. Object class Keta. I don't really remember what the different um, classifications of the different items were. But I think Keta is like world ending. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, <clears throat> give me just one second. But I don't know, if you guys know better. Oh, there you go. Okay, wait. That's a bit better. There you go. <laughs> I don't know why I get, I get like very fidgety about that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> so, special containment procedures. SCP-140 must never be brought closer than 15 meters to any source of uh, standard ink. I think I've heard this one before, but I don't, I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, standard ink, human blood or other fluids suitable for writing. Any contamination by blood or ink must be reported immediately. Any remaining copies of SCP-140 created during the initial printing must be found and destroyed as soon as possible. 
One second. Ginger Cat has come to join us. Where were we? <coughs> oh, give me one second. <laughs> what is that? Um, okay. So. Uh, talking about the printing process. Only SCP-140 is to be preserved for purpose the purposes of study, early warning, and cataloging and recording possible SCPs derived from its subject matter. SCP-140 is contained at Site-76 in a sealed vault containing a single desk. At this time, no research is to be carried out upon the original SCP-140. Researchers are to read from pre prepared copies not bearing the signature of its author, which lacks its properties. In the event of approved research, SCP-140 may not be removed from the vault and readers may not be in contact with it for longer than nine hours. Access requires written approval from the head researcher of the explicit, for the explicit purposes of testing. An armed guard stationed outside the vault will meet any attempted theft with deadly force. Should any per personnel begin displaying obsession with SCP-140 or signs of possible mimetic contamination, they are to be issued a Class A amnestic. <coughs> yes, kitty. Do you wish to stay or are you rioting? Yeah? Okay. Riot it is then. Um, false memories implanted as necessary and transferred to another project. Transferred personnel must be monitored for signs of relapse. Description. SCP-140 is a modern hard copy book with an unremarkable black binding and an unknown number of white pages. The book jacket is missing, but the title, A Chronicle of the Davis? I think that's how... Oh, Davis, yeah. Um, is clearly legible. The inside cover is signed by the author, whose name is indecipherable. <laughs> the text is copyrighted 19 redacted. Careful examination reveals that there are far more pages between the bindings than could be contained within them. Readers admit the feeling of paranoia, unease, and occasional na nausea while reading SCP-140, although this may be related to the subject material. Nonetheless, readers almost in universally describe SCP-140 as fascinating and express continued interest despite its frequently unsettling content. One in 15 readers describes SCP-140 as having a faint odor of dried blood. Ugh. <clears throat> I thought they were I thought it was blank pages so I'm like really curious as to what the fuck is in this book SCP-140 is a detailed uh, account of an ancient civilization or, uh, originating in what is now south central Serbia identified as the Davites Although, like all creatures, the Davites evolved and changed over time. They appear to have exhibited unusual continuity, universal uh, fixtures of the Davite culture in all periods include militarism, conquest, uh, ancestor worship, urban centers ruling over large slave populations, gruesome human sacrifice, and the practice of apparently uh, officious thermaturgic rituals. I need to know what that means. <laughs> I mean, as like a D and D person, I should probably know what that means. <clears throat> um, 
A variety of relics and creatures produced by the Davite culture would be abnormal and dangerous enough, if the account is to be believed, to qualify for containment in their own right. If SCP-140 comes in contact with any fluids suitable for writing, including human blood, the account of the Davite civilization's history expands. Human blood appears the most potent of possible writing substances. But in any case, the amount of new material does not correspond proportionally with the fluids introduced. Although these new segments sometimes include new descriptions of rituals and cultural traits, or illustrations of previously covered material, they more frequently include new, more recent accounts of information chronic chron chronicling the continued history of the Davite civilization or descriptions of new individuals and artifacts. Formerly decisive defeats became subfacts, setbacks. New persons and events are inserted. Foundation archaeologists have discovered corresponding new artifacts and traces of the Davite civilization in applicable locations and strata, in some cases found in big sites that have already been thoroughly explored. Okay, so it's almost like it's rewriting history, in a sense. Um, okay, although at times the Davites were a collection of city-states, they appear to have consistently returned to imperialism under a theocratic uh, aristocracy, the Deva. Practitioners of cannibalism and thaumaturgy. Although initially foundation researchers believed that Deva to have been a hereditary class recycling the names of non-worthy individuals, or noteworthy individuals, Evidence and the events of Redacted now suggest that the Deva possessed preternaturally long longevity as a result of Redacted. Thanks. <laughs> Several researchers, notably Professor also Redacted, have concluded that Deva were so uh, divergent from modern humans as to be a separate subspecies, a conclusion supported by graphic representations within SCP-140 and data expunged. This sounds a lot like, um, I can't remember what they're called, but there is an SCP sub race uh, that are supposed to be, <laughs> actually funny enough, the Habsburgs. Um, I think it is the Habsburg, like it's known as the Habsburgs, and they are sort of like they were originally bred from trolls or something like that i can't remember now they're just this fucking weird race that lives under old cities <laughs> um i can't remember what scp that was but it sounds very similar SCP-140 is remarkably detailed by the standards of a primary source Seeming closer to a biography than a historical text, it includes lurid descriptions of sacrificial rites, battlefield descriptions, daily life, and the life of stories of various noteworthy individuals, including notes and dates of birth. Over redacted district individuals have been identified, including the individual presently termed SCP 140A, of which only redacted are accounted for by recorded deaths. Mm, okay. Foundation archaeologists have discovered several sites containing ru ruins consistent with the support the supposed Davite culture in various locations across Serbia. Uh, Siberia, sorry, not Serbia. <clears throat> Northern Iran and Mongolia. Okay, that's interesting. So that's like the whole steppes region. <laughs> Artifacts and traces of intercultural conflict and contact have been discovered as far west as the Carpathian Mountains and as far east as northern Pakistan and China. These include SCP redacted. <laughs> Addendum 140A. <coughs> Sorry. SCP-140 was originally found in the office of 
deceased historian redacted the previous owner of this uh, was discovered in his office at redacted university having expired of self-inflicted lacerations on both wrists there were no traces of redacted's blood in the office redacted's colleague colleagues claimed during interviews they discovered a note in faded ink in redacted's handwriting next to scp 140 all witnesses were administered class a amnestics and false memories implanted redacted's note read i have to know i'm sorry oh damn okay <laughs> curiosity yeah kill the cat all texts within 15 meters except several books relating to the history of the region were blank the remaining books now included accounts of supposed interaction between the Davite civilizations and the subject cultures or applicable discussions uh, of Davite history and culture these texts were confiscated all printed form and media were blank. All pens, printers, and ink cartridges were empty. Addendum 140B. Although SCP-140 was published during the 20th century, the tone of the book suggests it is a recounting of events, individuals, and practices experienced firsthand by SCP-140's unknown author. Foundation investigators have tracked SCP-140's publication to the Data Expunged Printing House in a batch of uh, redacted copies, self-published by a wealthy individual held, hereby termed SCP-140-A. So, okay, wait, 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 there were multiple SCP-140-As, weren't there? SCP-140-A's signature on the contact contract matches the strange signature inside SCP-140. More than 40-something of the copies produced in this batch were apparently leached of all ink by the redacted remaining copies. To date, Foundation agents have recovered and destroyed redacted of the remainder, but between redacted and redacted remain at large. Two expansion events have been reported during periods when SCP-140 have never been exposed to fluids of any sort or removed from its vault. So more copies just kind of made themselves, I guess. An investigation and manhunt for the author of SCP-140 is ongoing. In the event of contact, agents are advised data redacted um addendum 140c although study of scp-140 and other contained objects related to the daybite civilization foundation researchers have concluded that transposed to the modern era the resurgence of a hostile daybite civilization in history more recent than 100 ce one redacted ce <laughs> would constitute a grave and even possibly uh, radioactive threat to the foundation and modern civilization as we know it. Even best case projections of Davite resurgence in the modern day suggest a CK class restructuring of modern society and a worldwide conflict with a projected death toll of at least redacted and an end to the foundation's uh, secrecy. Sorry. <laughs> my brain really tweaked hard there <clears throat> addendum 140d redacted redacted's journal found on his home pc in data expunged indicates that upon his initial reading of the of scp 140 it ended with the almost utter destruction of the davite civilization and the genocide of all known davi in to redacted BCE by the forces of Chinese General Quin Ki K. As a result of this subsequent containment breach, including those detailed in the journal, copious quantities of new material have been added, describing survivors regrouping and migrating to another region of central Siberia, rebuilding their empire steadily and continuing to advance culturally and technologically. At present, the Empire is described as having finally been crushed by Genghis Khan during the early period of these conquests. Although the fa uh, fates of many important persons in several cities remain ambiguous, 
Foundation archaeologists will be dispatched to expand it for investigation and research. Addendum uh, 140E. After the incident on redacted at data expunged dig site, resulting in over redacted casualties, all Foundation archaeologists excavating sites of suspected Davite artifacts or ruins are to be accompanied by a fully armed security team. Jesus Christ, what the hell happened? SCP-1401 has been neutralized. SCP-1402 remains at large. All other anomalous contacts and artifacts were destroyed when the dig site was struck by a cruise missile. Agent Redacted receive a, received a commendation and was treated for post-traumatic stress disorder. Dr. Redacted received a uh, post-humorous con- uh, commendation sorry, for courage. An investigation into the possible involvement of SCP-140-A or their agents in the events of Redacted is ongoing. I'm kind of curious. I would love to know what the rest of the story is. Um, I think it's pretty interesting. (coughs) Okay, so I'm going to, we're going to go to our next SCP because I want to do one more reading. Um, and then I'm going to call it for the day. So what is this? Uh, one for one. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, I would love to know more about it. Like that's one of the things about the SCP Foundation that I find really interesting is a lot of it kind of leads into into each other, but then sometimes some of the threads are just kind of left there hanging and you have no idea what's going on. Okay, so this one's also a book. Um, so I'm kind of curious about this as well. Okay, it's not that much reading. It's fine. So SCP-141 instead of 140. Item number SCP-141. Object class safe. Okay, so I think Keta um, is like world ending. I need to, I would need to Google it to try and see, but I don't really want to Google on this page. Um, so let's see, SCP class, uh, types. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got, uh, wow, there's a lot, actually. I didn't know that there were so many. But I know that the, the the main three are, like, safe, Euclid, and Keter. Okay, so safe is obviously, that's pretty obvious. Euclid, SCP that requires more resources con- to contain completely or were contained isn't always reliable, or where containment isn't always reliable. Usually this is because the SCP is insufficiently understood or is inherently unpredictable. Keter class, SCPs that are very difficult to contain or haven't yet been contained. Okay, I thought it had something to do with their level of like destruction. That's why I was always confused when something that seemed relatively safe was like Keter class. And it was like, what? I thought that that's not world ending. Um, but it explains the level of containment. <clears throat> And then you have Thormiel, which is SCPs used by personnel in containing or counteracting other SCPs. Okay, so that's like SCP-999 or something. I think it's 999. That is a the blob of happiness, basically. <laughs> Interesting. Sorry, we learned something new. Right, so object class, safe. Uh, Special containment procedures. When not in use, SCP-141 is to be stored inside a locked safe in Site-76. So I think that's the same site as 140. Access is uh, to the safe requires security level clearance 3 or higher and written approval to use SCP-141. When SCP-141 is in use, either for implementation in accordance with Foundation goals or for research purposes, it is to be kept within the possession of the assigned researcher at all times. 
Failure to account for SCP-141 will result in a severe reprimand. While SCP-141's danger on the Foundation appears limited, it could still be a tempting target for certain subverse groups or opportunistic users. For this reason, SCP-141 is to be checked out for no more than one week at a time. Okay. Description. SCP-141 is a small leather-bound codex dating back to Roman times, easily carried in one hand. Despite its great age, it never acquires any additional signs of wear and tear beyond a somewhat aged-looking cover. Its thin papyrus pages are always crisp and so far have been proven difficult to tear from the codex's binding. All attempts at radiocarbon dating have failed. The judgment of SCP-141 uh, as being Roman in origin is initially based upon its appearance. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks, Wednesday. But later confirmed through extensive research using SCP-141 corroborated by historical records, the title is apparently Codex Damnatio, based upon the text on its spine. Okay, SCP-141's pages are written in Roman Republic era Latin. It is, detail, is a detailed description of notes and summations of a wide range of legal trials. This first half contains a series of historical trials from throughout history. The earliest trial appears to be from the what prescription, sorry. <coughs> My screen's quite far away from me. Um, of late of the late Roman Republic, while the most recent case is the data redacted taking place in 2000 redacted. Oh my god. <laughs> Each case summary is extensive with precise witness quotations, exact physical descriptions of evidence and their importance in the case and so on. The codex actually contains far more legal cases than its 150 pages could possibly allow. A reader must make a detailed reference to a range or specific case to discover if it is listed inside. If it is, the pages will transfer, uh, transform into those related to the specific case. This requires specific mentions of historical context surrounding the case or cases. Research with SCP-140 conducted by Professor Redacted revealed SCP-141 has apparently been employed in, among other important periods, a wide variety of Roman prosecutions. Uh, her heretical trials of the Catholic Church. Oh, okay, wow, geez. <laughs> Use that for that. Including the conviction of Data Redacted, the Spanish Inquisition, the witch hunts of the 17th century, and the red scar of the mid 20th century. Jesus. The latter half of the book is blank and can be written in with any pen with black ink. A user of SCP 141 must provide details, detailed information about a criminal proceeding, including victim evidence witness statements and suspects and they must do so in republican er republic era latin later readings of the book will reveal that these cases in the first half of the book written in the same handwriting as the rest a very precise careful hand when this information is provided to scp-141 the particulars of the case described in scp-141 appear to become true in regards to memory and evidence surrounding the case. So you can like actually have influence or is it the other way around? Is it like the book is telling the truth or the truth changes? That's interesting. <coughs> um, let's see, witnesses, memories and testimony will correspond with the information written in SCP-141. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Falsified evidence springs into existence in accordance with its description, usually appearing in the court record or the crime scene where it can easily be discovered. This is included murder weapons, Sus uh, suspicious traces of the, subs uh, of the subject, such as fluids or fingerprints, stolen items or incriminating documents. Holy crap. <laughs> 
What if you just, what if you just like use the book to rewrite every crime everybody ever made or committed and then like you, you wrote them as accidents and then like nobody ever committed a crime. <laughs> um, SCP-141 appears able to cause criminal activities that would not have taken place, although these require even more precise wording and description of the particulars. Wow, so it's almost like a death note, except for crime. The guilty party specif specified by SCP-141 may have a false memory imprinted that corresponds with SCP-141's account of events. Although this result requires a clever description of the desired scenario. Hmm. These memories do not overwrite the original ones, but they do seem quite nearly as real. Okay, wait. So, crime note. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. 100%. That is crazy. Okay, so it doesn't... So these memories do not overwrite the original ones, but they do seem quite nearly as real. So... Do, does the guilty party remember both things? And how do they know which one's real? Holy shit, that's complicated. Care must be taken by all users to ensure as many loopholes are closed as possible. SCP-141's falsifications will stand up to all but the most critical of examinations. But it will only produce precisely the memories and evidence written inside it. Hmm. I need to breathe. While it appears to be prejudiced, the court against uh, while it appears to prejudice the court against the guilty party, this is not foolproof. Nonetheless, successful em successfully employed SCP-141 is an almost surefire conviction. Even in the ev uh, event of exoneration, guilty subjects will often be still be ostracized and viewed as guilty by influenced witnesses and law enforcement personnel who may in some cases data redacted okay that's so freaking interesting um addendum scp-141a <clears throat> tests are ongoing to determine if scp-141 is capable of exonerating an innocent man wrongly convicted or if it changed the results during the trial has any measurable effect Approval to employ SCP-141 in a test case is pending. Holy shit. Why wouldn't you test that? Like, that seems so, so silly. Like, there's a there's a researcher out there who wants to test that, who's, like, willing to test that. And the fucking council are like, nah, we don't really care. We're not going to test that. To see whether you can get a person who's, like, wrongfully, um, what do you call the word? Wrongfully charged for something? Addendum SCP-141-B. Following data redacted, all test cases involving Foundation disciplinary hearings or implicating members of the Foundation other than D-class personnel without signed waivers from the guilty subject are hereby forbidden by uh, O5. Redacted. I mean, it's not like you'd know who that is on the O5 council, but whatever. Um, violation of this new security protocol shall be dealt with harshly interesting i mean why would <laughs> like it's so silly they they have like disciplinary hearings and then they just fuck with it like has what's the point of a disciplinary hearing in the scp foundation if you know that you can just use this book <laughs> so dumb <coughs> okay i'm kind of enjoying this i'm really enjoying reading who would have known you know what I'm not enjoying? The fact that my nose is getting blocked for some stupid reason. <clears throat> Should we read another one? I like you want to read another one. What's this? SCP Let's uh, move away from the SCP for whatever, whatever. I need to go back to the main page. So this was SCP 40. <coughs> Cool. Um, so I don't know. Let's just pick one at random. I know what a lot of these top ones are, but I, I'm not sure. Like, uh, SCP, I've never seen. <gasps> SCP-002? 
I think SCP-002 is another world. But I've never really dabbled into the, the newer numbers. Because I think the SCPs actually started at like 172 or something like that. I don't know. What is this? Oh, that's... What? Me... Okay. Uh I <clears throat> I don't know. Some of them like some of them aren't super interesting. Some of them are just a bit weird. Okay, it's 2031. 30. Oh, I think I know this one. This is a Kettera Foundation operation. Oh, this is the clown one. This is the clown one. But I don't know if I'm... Uh, mm, mm -mm. I don't think I can read this on Twitch. I don't know if you guys have ever... Uh, SCP-2030. Some of them are not... Like I, like I couldn't read it on Twitch, for sure. Because they're just hella violent. <laughs> oh, this one's not bad. Um, We can read this one and then I'm going to enter. Okay, so this is SCP-035. Uh, this one's really interesting. So, uh, item SCP-035, object class Keta. It's like barely contained. Special containment procedures. SCP-035 is to be kept within a hermetically sealed glass case. No fewer than 10 centimeters, 4 inches thick. This case is... Wow, that's thick. This case is to be contained within a steel, iron, and lead shielded room at all times. Doors are to be triple locked at all times with the ex uh, exception of allowing personnel in or out. No further than two, uh, no fewer than two armed guards are to be posted at any time. Guards must remain outside at all times and are not allowed within the containment room under any circumstances. A trained psychologist is to remain on site at all times. Research personnel are not to touch SCP-035 at any time. SCP-035 must be moved to a new sealed case every two weeks. The previous case must be disposed of via SCP-101. What the hell is that? That's interesting. As it shows no adverse reactions to SCP-035's corruption. Anyone who comes in contact with SCP-035 when it is in possession of a host is to be given an immediate psychological evaluation. Description, SCP-035 appears to be a white porcelain comedy mask. Although at times it will change to tragedy. tragedy. In these events, all existing visual rec records such as photographs, video footage, even illustrations of SCP-035 automatically change to reflect its new appearance. Hmm. A highly corrosive and de uh, degenerative vis viscous liquid constantly seeps from the eyes and mouth holes of SCP-035. Anything coming into contact with the substance slowly decays over a period of time, depending on the material, apart, uh, until it has decayed completely into a pool of the original contaminant. Ew. Glass seems to react the slowest to the effect of the item, hence the construction choice of its imminent container. <clears throat> immediate container. Living organisms that come into contact with the substance react much the same way with no chance of recovery. Origin of the liquid is unknown. Liquid is only visible from the front. What do you mean? And does not emerge or is even visible from the other side. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, this is your first time SCPing? Dude, this is awesome. I love, I love SCP. It's fucking weird and cool. Um, I particularly like this one. I, you'll see why now. 
Subjects within 1.5 to 2 meters, um, 5 to 6 feet of SCP-035 or in visual contact with it experience a strange urge to put it on. When SCP-035 is placed on the face of an individual, an alternate brainwave pattern from SCP-035 overlaps that of the original host, effectively snuffing it out and causing brain death to the subject. He was like, I'm gone. Subject then claims to be the conscience uh, contained or consciousness contained within SCP-035. The bodies of the possessed subjects decay at a highly accelerated rate, eventually becoming little more than mummified corpses. Nevertheless, SCP-035 has demonstrated the ability to re remain in cognitive control of the body, experiencing several structural, uh, severe structural damage, even if the subject's body literally decays to the point where motion is not mechanically possible. No effect is found to be had when placed on the face of an animal. Okay, interesting. Uh, conversations with SCP-053 have proven to be informative. Researchers have learned various details about other SCP objects and history in general. As SCP-035 claims to have been at many momentous events, SCP-035 displays a highly intelligent and charismatic personality, being both amiable and flattering to all those who speak with it. SCP-035 has scored in the 99th percentile in all intelligence and aptitude tests administered to it and appears to be a photographic, to have a photographic memory. That's cool. <laughs> this would make such a great D&D character, to be honest. Um, however, psychological analysis has discovered SCP-035 to possess a highly manipulative nature capable of forcing sudden and profound changes in an interviewer's psychological state. SCP-035 has proven to be highly sadistic, prompting some to commit suicide and transforming others into near-minded servants with a linguistic persuasion alone. Jesus. SCP-035 has stated that it has intimate knowledge of the workings of the human mind and implied that it could change anyone's views if given enough time. Additional, SCP-035 was found in a sealed crypt in an abandoned house in Venice in 18 redacted. Okay, addendum 035-01-035, SCP-035 has been found to be able to possess anything that has a humanoid shape, including mannequins, corpses, and statues. SCP-035 has been able to motivate all into movement, removing the need to expose live subject to SC3, SCP-035. Still, anything it possesses left the decays into motionlessness. So you could just have like a bunch of mannequins. That's creepy. <laughs> Okay, Addendum uh, 03502. SCP-035 has facilitated an escape attempt, convincing several of the research staff to aid it in its bid for freedom. Uh, insurrection failed. All staff have been in that have been in contact with SCP-035 have been terminated, <laughs> and mandatory psychiatric evaluations have been implemented for all personnel coming in contact with SCP-035. Addendum 03503. It has been determined that SCP-035 is capable of telepathy, whether or not it possesses a host, even penetrating to the subconscious of others and using the knowledge it finds it to its advantage. Extreme caution is advised when choosing subjects to converse with SCP-035. Holy shit, this would make such a cool D&D BBEG. Like, that would be amazing. Can you imagine, can you imagine, like, going up against a creature like this as your BBEG? That's crazy. <laughs> Terminated. <laughs> the SCP Foundation does a lot of terminating all the time. Addendum 03504. SCP-035 has expressed an interest in other SCPs. Most notably, SCP-4715. 
and SCP-682. I think 682 is the undying lizard or something. <laughs> Maybe it's the first creature you fight tomorrow. <laughs> Bro, I am so screwed. We are, we are screwed. Doctor Redacted has expressed worry that should SCP-035 bond with either, their regenerative qualities would negate its corruption and give it a permanent host. Damn. That's crazy. Um, that is actually, yeah, yeah. So, so that's what they're talking about. SCP-682 is a, like... It's an undying giant lizard that hates everybody and just wants to kill everything. So that would be quite the quite the pairing. <clears throat> After several more escape attempts, uh, addendum 03505. After several more escape attempts and after reviewing SCP-035's incident record, High Command has ordered it to be permanently sealed within a facility and prohibited from being allowed any more hosts. Several personnel have protested against this, with some even erupting into violence. As a direct result, all personnel have uh, that have come into contact with SCP-035 have been terminated. Oh my god, like you literally just work in the building that SCP-035 is in and then they just like, terminated, bye. <laughs> that sounds like fun, yeah. Um, okay, uh, going forward, all personnel that deal with SCP-035 uh, SCP are to be rotated frequently and contact is to be limited even if it's dormant, even if, even to its dormant state to as little as possible. Addendum 03506, personnel within 10 meters of SCP-035 re have recently reported feeling unease, stating that they can hear unintelligible whispering. Several others has, have suffered from severe migraines. Object has been monitored, but there is no change in its dormant behavior and no sound has, has sounds have been recorded. The motion is... Uh, the motion to reinstate SCP-035's host privileges has been brought up once more. If only as a, on a temporary basis to discover these new changes in the sub object's behavior. Denied. <laughs> Agreed. Why would you? Why would you do that? That's crazy. Just just put it in a box and like keep it very very far away. <laughs> Um, addendum 03507, the walls of SCP-035's containment cell have suddenly begun s uh, secreting a black substance. Jesus. Tests on the substance have revealed it to be human blood, although highly contaminated with several foreign and unknown agents. Substance is corrosive, having a pH of 4.5, and prolonged exposure to the walls is proven to be uh, detrimental to their structural integrity. More notably, it seems that the forming it seems to be forming patterns on the walls. Several segments seem to be paragraphs in various languages, including Italian, Latin, Greek, and Sanskrit. Translation is pending. Other segments appear to be diagrams depicting ritualistic sacrifice and mutilation. Often for the can I can I say that on stream? <laughs> I think sacrifice is fine. <laughs> I don't know about the other word. Often for the arcane benefit of the person appearing to be diagrams depicting... No, wait, what, what? Benefits of the person committing them, okay. Several staff members have been shocked to note that all of the sacrifices bear an uncanny resemblance to various personnel and their loved ones, often in conflicting positions. Researchers, while in the room examining these newly formed patterns, have complained of hearing loud whispers and high-pitched, unnerving laughter at irregular intervals. Now I'm hearing things. <laughs> um, personnel in the section working daily near and around SCP-035's contaminant, uh, containment unit have suffered catastrophic moral damage uh, with an all-time high in suicide rates in staff in that area whether or not they have ever had contact with scp-035 the only change in scp-035's dormant behavior is regarding its contained glass case 
Degradation of the case has increased to a high degree, enough so that the glass will occasionally shatter, causing a wide dispersal of SCP-035's contaminant. These occur quite often at the most inopportune times, so far resulting in six casualties and three fatalities of both research and cleanup staff. Shit. Addendum 03508. In light of the mass suicide homicide of the members of the research team tasked with translating the passages garnered from SCP-035's containment cell, the moral damage in the area and the general loss of staff dealing with SCP-035 to either death or insanity, it has been decided to coat the inner and outer walls of the containment cell with SCP-148. I think that SCP-148, um, we're going to check, <coughs> is the squishy goo stored... Uh, Oh, okay, no, it's a metal. It's a metal. Okay, I'm assuming this is like the uh, metal that is non-corrosive to this stuff, which has proven well in the containment of SCP-132. I don't know. See document 13201. What are you? Dang. Okay, there's a lot. There's a lot. Alberta Fox, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Uh, I'm good. Do you remember that some time ago I had to do some questions on typing speed? I think so. <laughs> <coughs> How did it go? Um, let's see. Okay, in order to hopefully block out the high levels of negativity being emitted by SCP-031. Okay, so I imagine it stop, it's stopping like this, like it converted. Have a good afternoon, chat tomorrow. I will see you soon. I will, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for a session. I hope you have a fantastic evening. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish this up and then, and then we're almost finished anyway, so... And then I'm going to end stream too. So let's see. Uh, addendum 03509. The use of SCP-148 has worked well. Causing morale and suicide rates to return to near pre-SCP-035 rates. However, the uh, material appears to be to facilitate the negativity within the cell. Causing a veritable greenhouse effect inside. Personnel inside the cell have stated that they feel a heavy ease, sense of dread, fear, anger, and general depression, as well as hearing constant, nearly inaudible whispering upon immediate entry. A prolonged stay causes severe migraines, suicidal tendencies, heavy hemorrhaging of blood vessels around the eyes and inside the mouth and nose, general hostility to others, and for the whispering to increase to almost deafening volumes. Uh, intersected by a constant mocking laughter. I remember, what's your word per minute? Are you quite, uh, I don't, not really. I don't know, I've never tried. Bye, Kalash! We'll see you soon. Have a fantastic evening. <coughs> I'm low-key very hungry. Okay, let's see. Uh, where was I? Exposure of more than three hours inevitably results in the subject falling into a deep psychosis and attempting to harm either themselves or others. Most spoke in Latin or Greek, despite the fact that several did not previously know how to speak said languages beforehand. The presence of blood in both word and diagram formations has increased disproportionately, the walls becoming cluttered and the formations beginning to overlap each other. The substance is proven to be both difficult to clean and even more corrosive than it originally recorded, with the pH of roughly 2.4. General estimation gives the current walls a life of two months before they will need replacement. It has become gradually more and more difficult to contain SCP-035 and the debate to reinstate its host privileges has once again come up. Did I? Addendum 03510. The walls, ceiling, and floor of SCP-035's containment cell have now been completely saturated in blood. All personnel entering and guarding the area must wear full hazmat protection suits. Constant cleaning efforts have been instated. 
Addendum 03511. The magnitude, intensity, and recurrence of the phenomena that occur within SCP-035's containment cell have increased to an alarming degree. The cell door has been known to become locked of its own accord while personnel are inside and unable to uh, and unable to be open for a period of time. Uh, appendages from out of the larger puddles of blood often attempt to grab and harm personnel near them. Blurry apparitions have started appearing to staff. Electronic devices no longer work inside the cell and the light cannot be turned on, though there is no physical reason why it does not work, forcing those entering to use non-electrical based light sources. Cleaning measures are having no discernible effect on the cell and the walls are degrading at a very high rate, forcing them to be replaced within a week at best, although the blood come makes it nearly impossible to properly achieve this. SCP-035 may have to be moved to a new cell entirely, with the old one sealed off and disengaged from the rest of the facility. Wow! So yeah, that is SCP-035. I like this one. The thing about SCP-035 is I think there is another... There's like additional documents on 035. Um where there are actual interviews with 035 and they're kind of like trying to figure out what 035 wants. So yeah. <clears throat> this all reminds me so much of Fringe. Yeah, it does. But like a like a more intense kind of Fringe, right? Where there, it's not just like three people and they're going out to collect these things it's like an entire scp foundation full of like thousands of people with billions of dollars and they just go across the world and they like contain a bunch of shit that's insane so yeah for sure for sure i like it it does have fringe vibes um I think that's what I like about it. And the really cool thing about the SCP Foundation, I wish you could unwatch bit so I can watch it again. Oh yeah, uh, you mean you mean Fringe. I mean you could watch it again. Like I I barely remember what happened on Fringe, so it was so long ago. There's a bunch of stuff I'd love to rewatch. Um series from like the the early 2000s and stuff that I'd love to watch. Um <coughs> But yeah, that's the thing I like about the SCP Foundation is it's it's made by like a collection of people who just sort of put it all together, which I love. Okay, so I'm going to find us somebody to raid real quick. And then we're going to go there because it is Friday and it is uh, late, in, late in my afternoon. Unfortunately, I remember everything there. <laughs> okay, so who's online? Let's have a look. <laughs> Potato Legion on on guys on to another art streamer oh yeah uh have an awesome weekend maybe see you on sunday yes yes um i don't know about sunday what's going on on sunday i don't recall what's going on on sunday um but i 
will be streaming again tomorrow and I'm going to be streaming D&D. So yeah, you guys will get to see me. I'm not DMing tomorrow, but I am playing. So that's super exciting. I'm I'm excited about that. Um, let me do this. So yeah, if you want to see me, <laughs> if you want to see me, um, being a crazy person, I'm not going to give too much away, but yeah, my character is like genuinely insane. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be, you're excited also? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to be, I'm going to be streaming three my time, which I think is about uh five in the morning in america and five in the no uh 12 yeah i think it's 12 uk time and it's about five o'clock american time so either you're waking like waking up super early or you're not um <clears throat> you'll do me okay yeah, yeah send me uh send me a thing let me know what is going on on Sunday. Um, cool. So we are going to raid uh, Sutran V team. Uh, just because I like, I really like their style. So I will see you guys soon. I hope you have a fantastic Friday um, and a great weekend. I'll see you guys tomorrow and then I will see you on Monday. Bye.